That I feel sucked. like the Wallabies lost if he said that. Oh, okay, well, good. I don't give a fuck about rugby. Fuck anyway, rugby. welcome to my Let's Play of Toy Story 2. It's Crystal Fisher here. Let's play. Thank you for this the introduction, let's... Johnny Natrim. My, my let's, is... let's stream. Hold up. Okay, so... Hello everyone, Chris oh, here. Welcome to another uh, stream play, let's play, stream, uh, good time, oh, fun good. times for all. You know, fun times, good times, excellent times. Um, awesome show, great job. Yeah, awesome show, excellent. Oh, speaking oh. of which, there's that song tomorrow night, isn't it, Johnny? The uh, the 10th anniversary. Yeah, is it going to be any good, do you think? Uh, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm, I, I'm thinking it, it might be okay. I mean, they, uh, Richard Dunn is dead, unfortunately, so he won't be in it, but... Who's Richard uh, Dunn? You know. Who's right. Richard Dunn? <laughs> well, oh, my God. The only Dunn I know go. is Kevin Dunn. And, He's uh, only uh, like, one of the most famous extras ever. <laughs> I, I was going to say that that's like... What do you like, call him? Yeah. Well, I guess what he was an actor him? because he did have lines, so... Yeah, yeah, he, he had some stuff like Richard <laughs> Dunn and the Dungeon <laughs> and... Uh, and getting it done, and uh, that whose line is it anyway thing with Richard Dunn. Yeah, he was also on the uh, uh, Tim and Eric Night Live stuff, which is oh, yes, probably yes, yes, yes. the best shit they've ever done. They've hey, ever Teal done. Game Master's in the chat. Hey, Teal. Sorry, Teal I'll, stop, uh, I'll stop distracting welcome, from the toys. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Teal. Uh, Watch me complete a challenge for the first time, like legitimately, like this. I never do this challenge like the, this. This is the the, the challenge famous... being putting up with Angus and Johnny. Yeah, uh, it's it's a it's an arduous struggle, but we you know we, we should it's make a it through. Herculean task. <laughs> ah, it's amazing how easy this challenge is with these boots. It's almost like you're meant to use them. You know, you know uh, what I'm talking say. about, right? What you know what I'm talking saying? about, right? The boots, <laughs> I, love, the moon. I love when Angus gets interrupted. He always goes like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I get disappointed when I get interrupted because because uh, I always have something really important to say and then Conley just like... Oh, you know the cool thing about these boots is... Steam you know, rolls. Like, Steam rolls gets the conversation... Ah, oh, you know the cool thing about these boots is... They're... Well, they're not real snakeskin, of course, because I love animals. Anyway, do, I, I guess I'll never finish that thought that I was going to have, so... Uh, Guess really. I'll never tell you. I'll never, I'll never, really I'll never get feel. to see. Yeah. Oh dear. Anyway, Toy Story, it. Toy Story 2. Oh, it's, yeah. uh, it's a game that, that came out, that came out 17 years ago, well, 18 years ago, but it still demands... Just like that you. We, we still need to discuss this game that came out 17 years ago. It's heavily important that we uh, go over every single detail with a uh, fine toothpick comb. Well, to, how know. about... It's just fun, you know. I, we can't help it that uh, that these games are more fun than most uh, modern games. That's true. That is true. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think you just need to get some toys here, Angus. inspirational as well uh, for, for someone like you who likes to, you know, sometimes design their own. Uh, I have... Games. This was not inspirational whatsoever. I, I did not... <laughs> to what? To what? Your own game? <laughs> I have, yeah, I have never taken any inspiration from this game for anything. Well, you yeah. still might. It's pr it's a good source of inspiration if you I ask agree. me. It's like if I agree. I agree. If you're gonna, uh, I like this game. I if you're gonna it's... take a game yeah. to take inspiration from, I think it's probably a good one. I think, yeah, yeah it's, like it's a good, uh, what, what this and the bugs and and the bugs life does is it's like it's a really it's like I think it's like a really good example of how to make a game where like you play as like a small thing in sort of like a normal size world. Like, whereas whereas the game I played uh, earlier in the week after the first part of this, uh, what was it called? You played like, a normal sized person what's in that, a no, humongously Stuart Little, large world. Stuart Little <laughs> bullshit. That's just, that was just a horrible, horrendous game, you know? And like, that's an example of like how you can fuck up what should be a fairly easy idea. Like, you know, you being a small- Fox Life, of course, of... did a great job with that more in a, more in a nature-y setting, yes. I suppose. Yes. Um, this is yes. And I mean, Alice, residential. America McGee's Alice actually also featured a, uh, a good bit of an area where obviously just like in Alice in Wonderland, you get like shrunk down. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrinking potion and, and yeah, you're also in kind of uh, in that in that weird sort of nature environment where the caterpillar is and everything it's pretty cool 
Yeah, I've made I did that with Rob. It's on my channel if you wanna. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's where, that's where I've seen like um, that's where I feel like I've I've seen it before. I think I, and I think that there's isn't there a sequel to it that came out like not long ago. Um, yeah, that one's more recent. It's very different again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. Look at this motherfucker. So um, what? was it? No, same sorry, you go. Same engine as Harry Potter PC games as well. Really? And, uh, so this this the game? same sort of no, texture. No. Uh, American McGee's hours, uh, oh, right. and it had the same texture artist team, I believe. So, yeah, I never thought this game looked that great, to be honest. I didn't know, just there's something missing in this game to look make it like great or played great. Uh, it plays, it plays okay. I think the controls are okay. Uh, I just, I don't know. It, I mean, I never really considered this one of the all-time great like PS1 games. You know, I think it's like I, missing I, a certain. I feel like, like in a element. way. This because it's a lot like uh, like the engine and everything is probably the same as uh, Bugs Life, right? Mm. Uh, I feel like that might lend itself a little better graphically to like yeah more natural environments, possibly. I actually prefer Bugs Life to this one. Yeah. Maybe because I like sort of grew up with Bugs Life more than I grew up with this game, but I don't know. There's just I I think this this feels like um I don't know. It feels empty if that makes any sense. It's yeah, like, it's like I'm I'm same... I. I'm, I'm sort of when I think of, uh, for example, that uh, elevator hop level. That's like just yeah. a very sort of bland-looking level, isn't it? Whereas, but uh, I, I like, almost think that you can't <clears throat> just. I mean, I'm not blaming them for that, but like, yeah, it, it feels like I, I, I think it, it, it lends itself a bit better to the, uh, to the sort of um, less rigid environments of Bugs Life. I think. In, in but way. also, I feel like with a level like le elevator hop like that that is a frustrating level but at the same time i almost feel like that if you want to like be your psychoanalytical i feel like it actually suits it to be like that because thinking. it is such a in the movie as well it's such a tenuous sort of like struggle to get yes. up that elevator like i, I like that the levels no, are i like I, I you know for example I sort of, yeah i i like the atmosphere i guess uh that See, that's, as well that's but, it, but, it, but it might be less pleasing to look at maybe like sure. in some Wait. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I don't no. think this game really Actually, has an atmosphere, to, to be honest. Like, it just no, doesn't. I think it does. I think you it think, does. think so? That's, I think I that's, think that's 100% wrong. Like... I think it's 100% wrong because, sure? well, like, I think, think about a level like Alleys and Gullies. Like, how many video games have music like that? Like, sort of rain going down on, like, a sewer sort of thing. In the, you got to think, like, PS1 era. Like, 3D platformer, mm. sewer, well, sort of sewer. Late. Not like yes, a Crash right. Bandicoot sewer, but, like, oh, kind of. There's I don't know. Some people, I think we'll, revisit, uh, we'll revisit that very soon, so I'll show you yeah, what I mean. There's some later. people uh, in, in the comments going on about the Harry Potter PC games. There's some fans there. RM0505 loves Chamber of Secrets on PC. It 100%ed that one just recently. Well, I, if you haven't seen the Let's Plays on my <laughs> yes. channel, I, I implore <laughs> you to check them out because it was with Angus as well and with uh, Crystal Fissure, and oh, it, it was some of the best uh, stuff. Some of the yeah, best. Well, that was, that was it's, it's one of the most movie. often referenced LPs as well, at least in, within our like, little click. Um, yeah. One thing magic can't fix is how good that let's play was. Except one thing with Harry Potter 1, which we did finish, the first yeah. half of the game oh, we did with you, Crystal Fisher. Yes. And, um, and we collected all the wizard cards, and then the ha second half, Angus joined, and we were missing like half of them. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's right, we, we sort of steamrolled the, the second half of that, let's play. Yeah, I remember getting some comments like, You fucking missed the card there! Actually, I, I feel like I was very disrespectful on that let's play because I, um... Uh, you know, like, I just basically did not talk about the game at all. We were, like, having weird, rambly conversations, but... No, I was, think... I think was... No, 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 we were talking about the film a lot, and about, like, you know, about the plot points of the first film, and, uh... And also a bit about. I think you said that you. No, you were talking plenty about the game. Like, Was it? you said it had sort of a uh, cozy feel and everything, and it sort of had uh, nice right, and yeah. detailed look and everything. Yeah. See, so, I, but, yeah. You know, <coughs> I like this game, but I think this uh, there's just something weird about like him walking around all these like locations, like work sites, and then like this shopping center and everything. And yeah. It's like they're they're empty. They're abandoned. You know. It's like. But that's actually. That's exactly the kind of atmosphere that Toy Story sort of has. It, it has sort of that um, that sort of urban 90s feel to me. Uh, Especially like the airports. Yeah. And like, 
Oh, I'm really fucking up at picking up this fucking <coughs> thing. But, um, oh, there you go. I think I got it. No, I didn't get it. Fuck. Um, but like, you know, for example, like, if you think about it, the whole world of Toy Story is very implausible. How does no one see them move around? You know, for example. So, like, in a way, if you had, like, a bunch of people everywhere, well, they, it doesn't they really do, fit the get, whole movie. You know, some they, people they do, see them, no, but... I think the logic here of the movie is that they hide themselves when they move around. I, th I think that, that's perfectly explained. Yeah, but that's but that, Dude, what I mean. the cones. The cones. Yeah, the cones, the cones. Disguise. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and even when they go to the shopping center, they're like... Actually, that, that's even the shopping center. If they can do it in Metal Gear Solid, they can yeah. do it. I, I think the other thing is too is like in this game you're playing just as Buzz Lightyear, whereas like in the movie like he's like got like a posse of toys with him at the same time. Yeah, you know? true. Like, but but you, I think I think you're really like putting like a pretty difficult standard on what is like a PS1 game. Like, I feel like it's easy to say that in in hindsight, like, oh, you'd be great if you could play as like Woody, and like, because I, I I'd love to play as Woody as well. Like, I'd love to have like more of the cast, but you can't really realistically make a, love a, to play a platformer. Woody. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like you know, you can't like you know, look look that look that fuckers down there, Rex is down there. Um, you know, like you know, you've got all the characters in it, like Slinky and stuff like that, and Bo Peep, etc., etc. Mm. You know, I feel like yeah, it's, it's hard. Point, like, what more can you really do with a game like this? The, the, yeah, but I mean, there, there is a Toy Story for the uh, Super Nintendo, which I think it's just two D. Because it's yeah, it's two D, but I, I, it, it feels more like um, I don't know, less isolating, perhaps is the right term. Right. But then, I think there's a thing with with those early like all well, those, those PS One oh, kind of games where. Um, they do have like an isolating feeling about them, just in general, like a protagonist tr on a big journey, you know, mm -hmm. going somewhere. I like, like that about um, Spiral One. About Spiral One. Well, yes, we banged on about that for you know for so long, but you know, like, um, yeah, there's, there I is can a certain bang element. Night with you, Angus. Uh, well, you know, Jesus, uh, wouldn't be the first time. Um, <laughs> oh. But I think I think that's just like that was the period too, you know, um, like. Like a, you know, a lot of those games where you're playing as a protagonist going somewhere always have a lonely feeling to them. Yeah, but, you're you, know, like, yeah, but you know, like like one thing about like a lot of modern games is that they feel the absolute need to like constantly press you with like press the yeah, you with like dialogue and stuff like that and like and like you know like to feel expansive, dead air feel dead air like the rat the new Ratchet and Clank games for example right and the old ones like the first one. You would just run around like Clank wouldn't talk to Ratchet. You'd talk to him in the cutscenes, and you felt like those cutscenes would be earned. Like they'd have a dynamic, and they wouldn't get along, and then they did get along. Blah 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 blah. Cut to the new game, the remake. All they do is just talk to each other without actually saying anything of note. It's just completely filler dialogue. Like it's just like, oh yeah, man. Like we gotta go to this and save the galaxy. It's completely tonally. This is different. what I've been saying for years. Yeah. <clears throat> and like in some games, I think that that. Fair enough. Like I'm, I'm not. I, I, I understand why in some games, you know, they they want to have that more conversational dialogue. But like in, but not all every game needs that kind of thing. And like Ratchet and Clank's an example where I feel like the cutscenes do a good enough job of establishing the rapport, as opposed to having to put these like meaningless sort of like conversations and meaningless like characters and stuff like that. And where when you could just run around and like fight bad guys and you know mm. s explore the planets, well and and there's, there's a lot to be said for obviously um for just actual game design and gameplay design where you know that should be the way in which you um in which you f sort of experience your story so to speak like obviously plot things can be like done in uh, cut scenes like at the end of levels and stuff like that but <clears throat> meanwhile like some people like bang on about how they need a good story, they need a ton of dialogue and shit like that. But the whole point of the, the, the whole the story is you playing the game. You're experiencing the story because you're the character going through those environments sure, and, yeah. and doing the things that you're doing. That's the yeah. story. Well, that's that's the odd thing about these games, though, is like <laughs> the story is in the cutscenes. Like yeah. the, the actual levels don't have have like. You play a level to get to the cutscene, right? It's like those. Yeah, but there's still a story. Games. There's still a story about. There's still a story to sort of to be had about like the experiences of the character, like just based on the way that you play. Like they still like you still experience stuff like just through playing the game without having any 
story dialogue well, maybe, maybe that's stuff. the thing maybe the disconnect between the levels and the uh the cutscenes is another thing about these games too it's like they, right. they made the levels but again 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 cutscenes, like you know? again being you again i think it's like the standard of a movie game you know like mm -hmm. this you got to think like the quality of movie games like back in the day and like for the overall usually absolutely shit so for there to actually be like well like if you think about all the levels they include in this game you've got andy's house you've got like you've you've actually you've got everything that's in the movies but then you actually have areas that bridge the gap that you don't get to see in the movie. For example, the walk down the blocks to get to Al's <laughs> toy barn. So, like for example, if you were to just skip to Al's toy barn, one, this level would only be this game would only be twelve levels long. But two, it would feel like it would just feel like the exact same of the movie. So, like in terms of like lore and stuff like that, this game actually gives you quite a lot. It kind of fills in mm. a bit of the blanks of Toy Story I Two. By the way, and how how did they do that with no dialogue yeah that's right <laughs> just just with, uh, and yeah. that's the best way like, to do it, even, look at look at the way they designed the map right with the whole etch-a-sketch thing i thought it's like such a cool thing they did like it's an, it's such an improvement on bug bug's life like for example it's like that they improve from bug's life like a more dynamic nap map it actually shows the travel from you know you know andy's house to the airport <clears throat> oh yeah 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 that's right um yeah, you yeah, know, I, I don't hate this game at all. I think I'm probably just nitpicking when I say, like, it's got a lonely atmosphere. But I think that's just the thing about Toy Story that, like... Oh, that's it, a gr I, I love that. Yeah, I, I, I like that too. But I, I think in in the Toy Story, I don't know, just... There's just something... There's some disconnect between me and this game. Maybe it's because I'd only played it when I was, like, you know, 18, 17, 18, you know. So I didn't really experience it as a child or something. But... Um, it just there's something I about think, like the way these I challenges are set up and they just the, sort of happen, you know, and like the, the way the programming is in this game. It just feels like a little flimsier than the than character. Most. Yeah, the character design and sort of enemy design, I think, is better in Bug Life, for instance. Yeah, I or, agree with or that. It's at least yeah, it's they're more engaging or sort of more yeah. Oh more fucking what a piece of shit! Around. I didn't actually. Like I did that whole race, but I didn't talk to the fucker, so like he didn't actually. It didn't count. <laughs> So, yeah, you know that race actually that's what cost me the uh, yeah i know i was gonna say to part of me feels like you're really just still you're just still harboring resentment over ies uh, 7 over losing to uh, ratchet and being eliminated could... from the grand final contention i don't know i did not deserve to be in the grand final at all, no. at all. um but yeah like, i like this game quite a lot uh, i just i just don't think it's it, it feels there's something about it that feels like it's held together with like a good analogy would be it's like held together with like tape or something it's like it's like barely functioning as a game, you know, it's like just there, you know. So um, six out of ten. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. I mean, maybe actually, it's probably, it's probably fair enough. What is barely functioning as a game? This. I don't know. It's, I just it's feel, like I a... feel like that is a complete opposite in terms of like, in terms of, in terms of a, if you want to like put the dynamics, like if you want to be con concept level. of a game, right? Every level follows a particular formula, but it's a formula that is so simple to do but it works like okay collect coins beat someone in a race um collect a certain amount of items like it's it's very similar to like how a spyro game is done but or a game. i think, the, I think the, well yes kind of but i think there's, there's things in those games that don't exist in this for instance the um and i know you'll counter argument to this will be the double jump but in like a level like the first level where you can you know jump on the green cup to get to the thing or you can like jump around the car really quickly because like the cut like for the the lap thing is like an uh, invisible line in the in the level the way you can do the rc challenge quite right. easily it's like all these little skips but there's so many of them in this game where it feels like the developers didn't test it enough or they didn't like put the time in to like make sure that you couldn't use these exploits because this game has a hell of a lot of exploits if you think about it like Ali's and gullies has a lot of true ex it, it does it does no you're right that it does have oh, i finally got it it does have a lot of exploits, but I feel like that's a bit of a weak reason to criticize a game because, yeah, as, as you said, the double jump is such a... In Spyro, Spyro 2 is a fantastic game, but it, it has a glitch that can make you beat the game if you're good enough. And I think that's the thing you're missing as well, is the keyword good enough, is that people didn't find these glitches for years because they just didn't simply know how to, like, exploit it. Like, the game... Game... Gamers, quote-unquote have changed i feel like over the years like and sort of got well, bet, you know sort of found these exploits it's like it's more of a it's more of a thing today well i i think I where know. that mostly comes from right is uh and as like rm0505 is saying honestly 
he he thinks honestly this is more of a game than Bugs Life. Well, the thing with this game is that um, uh, it has things put in there. It, like it has sort of all these mini challenges put in there, which Bugs Life didn't have. Like it has sort of these uh, these these sort of isolated little uh, areas where you, where you sort of do a, a separate little challenge, and that st sort of stuff is just very subject to because they still wanted to keep it sort of a free form level it's it's much more sort of subject to to exploits yeah that's um, true than that is true and bugs like you bugs can life, bugs life doesn't have like little races contained in the level where you know st yeah. things like that but then which, again those could... those do seem kind of cheap and cost cutting right and like easily what like what could oh, they do what more could they really do that's... like like you know like... i know but it artificially extends the thing by like copying and pasting a challenge from like one level i to i actually do agree with that and that's why like i i do actually like bugs life a fair bit better than uh, toy story 2 like i i mostly like toy story 2 for the atmosphere actually um for just the environments like in general i, I quite like them um, and there's some cool boss level designs, I suppose, like like this. And um, yeah, this is actually oh, inside a buzz. This is actually inside a buzz, um, like capture. Yeah, I sort of, I sort of like the lore, sort of the yeah, the cool stuff about the, the places that you visit are quite cool. Yeah, ours, in, ours, in uh, but... ours penthouse and stuff like that. Ours yeah, penthouse so that's, is such that's, a great concept, like how you can like flood the room and actually our good friend. Uh, my good friend Rob Wass of uh, Clive and Wrench fame, the, the upcoming game that he's releasing, actually has something that is clearly inspired by that level uh, in one of his one of his new levels and the upcoming uh, game. Oh yeah, I saw that. I can, which I can't wait to uh, play. Actually, I'm super excited about that. the room. Yeah, I like that. That's a really cool. Like Toy Story. I, yeah, I just I reckon that like some of the like some of the levels in particular really I felt like are like levels that I, I would genuinely like to see more in modern games, like. You know, like, 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 like those. Yeah, I, I like the whole residential nature of, of, like, you know, Andy's house and then the penthouse and stuff like that, and like the, the girl, like, yeah. Again, atmosphere. I do. I like the atmosphere. Um, but that uh, is subjective. I, that, and... I agree with Fraser too. What, what he's saying about the Bugs Life Berry system. I think this game has like a, <clears throat> a tighter control scheme, and I think it's much simpler in that aspect. Um, but that's the thing. Th yeah. That's the thing that I like more about Bugs Life is because yeah, like uh, thing uh, uh, um, what was his name? Something oh five oh five was saying that uh, this is more of a game. Well, I mean, I think you got to sort of be mindful of your definition of a game because like this thing has more sort of mini games and gamey things put in. But um, I think that the the great thing about bugs life is how just open-ended and creative that like they, they just give you sort of a system to work with and then and then sort of let you sort of complete the level in 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 your way with this like weird modular system of seeds and and, and stuff like that yeah, like, yeah I, I think it, it takes some getting used to but i actually quite like the the berry thing to be honest yeah but no i, I, like I, I said, absolutely i like this the thing is i guess you, you absolutely can compare the two games, but I almost feel it's a bit of an apples and oranges type thing in some way. Just just Definitely. because of the way the way in which the game is fundamentally designed. Yes, they're on like a similar engine, the, similar graphical style. The playing experience is quite different. Yes, yes, that's right. And and I feel like and I feel like both of them innovate in different uh, ways equally like games as well. Yes, so. exactly. And like and like I feel, I feel like I, I, on a pure level. Um, Yes, Bugs Life's berry system is probably more of an innovation than Toy Story, right? I, I will give I will give you that. But I think <laughs> well, that the seed system, the seed system. system sorry, that's what I meant. Like seed berry, sort of. Yeah, but but yeah, I feel yeah, like Toy Fraser, Story is talking about actual berry throwing, the the combat. Oh, okay. Which is clunky, but I do like it. I think it's satisfying collecting like better yeah, berries. And getting a more you know, powerful berry. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. I feel like this game innovates in different ways in terms of I feel like it creates a um quintessential experience of like being a toy in the world uh, so you know in the world you know um i'm gonna and... disagree with you there i don't think this game innovates at all i can't think of anything unique to this game uh okay i think that i think that the i think that the particularly the um what's what are the levels called uh like the the, the housing levels like i hadn't seen anything in platforming 
it was close, but that but, was like but yeah. that's that's just platforming though. That, that's level design. You can say oh the level design is yeah, innovative. But, yeah, well, the level is, design. I feel like the level, level design, design, is, design is one of them is pro probably the most important part of the game. Design. Yeah, I know, I know that, but that's just the, the genre of this, and like the the context is yes, they're playing around a house or whatever, right? Sure, fine. Is that innovative though? Like that's basically they had to do that because the movies of are set <laughs> houses, right? Like this level here hardly seems. Yeah, I'm not. Too. I'm not saying that this. Uh, I mean, I'm. I don't tend to really think in merit of innovation so much as just yeah, exactly. originality yeah. in in design. I suppose like, um, as long as the game doesn't feel like a rip off and it's and it's like sort of you yeah, know, like it, it exactly. Has a lot like, of what is this game a rip off it, of? For example, like I, I well, don't. Not, yeah. nothing specific, but it takes like elements from like. Other games, but sort of that's like this here. idiot like, that was. The this, like, there's an idiot. There was an idiot, and I'm gonna like, actually call him a fucking idiot, who was commenting on uh -huh. one of my Crash Bandicoot uh, like, videos, basically saying that yeah, Crash is just a complete ripoff of Mario in every single way. No, Nothing not about Crash is original, and it's like, okay, it's like saying things like, for example, like that. Oh yeah, that the Wampa fruit are just a ripoff of the coins, and it's like, well, that's just simple game. Collectibles. Development fundamentals. Like, any collectibles yeah. are, is a rip off. Now. Exactly, and that's what that's what. And then, like, I think it was exposed to be a troll when I basically said that. Well, for example, it would be like calling Mario Galaxy a rip off <laughs> of um, of Ratchet and Clank with the whole planet hopping thing. And he's like, "Oh, Rat shit and Clank." I was like, "Yeah, either, but either Ratchet you and are... Clank is already a rip off itself." So. <laughs> of what? Of of Mario. No, oh, yeah, of course. It's a rip off of yep. yeah. I, th I also think one of my other gripes is with this game is the enemy placement is just weird. Like, like you get some levels where you, you, the enemies don't fit the level at all. Like, what is that guy doing? I mean, I guess Zerg is here, but like the snake things, and it's like, it's like they just put the, like I. You I haven't ever heard of I the make... movie Snakes on an Elevator? How dare you? No, I have not. Ah, oh. devastating. I don't know because they don't have that many enemies in this game. They just they sort of like reuse them quite a lot. Let me get this motherfucker down. Wait. Sorry, I'm eating. By the way, hopefully you can hear it. Oh, are you, are you eating chocolate flakes on bread again, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm eating rice crackers. Rice, rice and, crackers. Rice and beans. What, what flavor? E. No flavor. I'm not a fucking. Oh yeah, the, the, the person said something about Sonic's rings as well. Yeah, they said they were they were like a, they weren't a rip off because because this this guy was such a Nintendo fan. Basically, he was saying that it was like that like as soon as Odyssey came out, no one would care about Crash anymore. No one would buy it, and it's like yeah, you piece of shit. It's been in the number one sales for like seven weeks. So politely delete it. Well, this is a really weird comparison because one is a game that came out. Uh, 20 years ago, and the other is a new game. Well, is it a new game? I mean, it's Sonic still, so or Mario still, so. Like... I was gonna say, yeah, that, that's actually kind of a well, nice sort of self-owned. What's that supposed? What's, well, what's, well what's Mario that? is an like kind of a, it's franchise. kind of a, it's kind of a piss take. It's kind of a joke on Mario, like essentially doing the same thing repeatedly. Well, uh, no, but I'm not saying that. I mean, the, it could be. A, I've no, I've not played it. it. Could be. Entirely... No, it's a new game. The same. It being the same franchise is is not does not mean that it's the same game in any way no, like, no, but definitely not as much as and same trilogy is just literally the same game as, uh... well there's some differences but yeah i can understand with that no, yeah, but, no well, but i mean they, yeah. i think the comparison if it would be if like a completely brand new ip came out you know again and it was competing against it and people said you know well the difference is no i think no the thing is just it's it's a new it's a new game it's it, it's a it's a an established franchise yeah but I really don't think like Max Payne One versus Max Payne Two. They're completely different games, but they're the same franchise. And while I, I do agree that Mario tends to innovate a bit less, at least over the amount of time that they've released uh, games. But but I but I do think like it it would be more like saying if a new Crash game came out, then you could compare that to a new Mario game. Not so oh, much what, a as Crash game. Oh, now you. What, what fantasy are you living in, Johnny? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, I mean, and it's not even as viable because, apparently, well, it, it depends on how popular the Crash oh. franchise is going to be, I suppose. It sold 1.14 million copies in two days. It's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's because... projected to do extremely well. Yeah, because the thing is, well, the thing is, right, 
I feel like with Crash, for instance, they sort of did this did this style of platformer, just like Mario did its own sort of style of platforming, and they did it for three games, you know, three main games anyway, mm-hmm. and and then they were sort of done with it, and they basically moved on to Jack and Daxter, which was like almost it was like an evolution of Crash to me, like to you know, sort of. Uh, an improved in many ways uh, style platformer. Now, I, th- I still think that there's sort of room for platformers that are more Crash-like, mm. but I don't feel like they could really be like a triple A franchise. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I, I agree. I agree. Because I, they're, I... they're a bit too simplistic and a bit too sort of um, established and repetitive in a way for that, you know, because they really tried to milk more out of it in, in Crash 3 already, yeah. where you could already sort of... Though. Yeah, yeah, where you could already sort of see that it, it ran out of steam a bit. It was just the, the concept was a bit too limited to really keep doing more games with it. Well, I mean, I, I feel like the... Um, the And that's <laughs> why I just can't see... That's why I can't see them doing endless Crash games like they do with Mario. Um, yeah, unless they do way. find <laughs> ways to innovate it further, I suppose. It's probably relegated but, more to like the nostalgia market, I would, you know, like that yeah. kind of that kind in, of thing. In I, I many don't ways think... it is. And I think a lot of the people who did buy and Saint Trilogy um, did sort of, you know, they did sort of buy it in a way like, oh, you know, oh, this is like, you know, this quirky old game, but with new graphics and like, oh, it's really punishing difficulty and all that. And oh, we're going to like all try that now. And it's, it's going to be the sort of flavor of the month type thing for a bit so, so that now we too can you know experience that thing that everyone all those like old school people are raving about or something yeah we, but i don't know if it'll the buzz establish a new like, fandom yeah yeah well i mean like it, it it should be interesting like if if you look maybe by i don't know christmas or next year early next year see if like the hype the buzz is still around it or if it wears off, because I don't know. That's a t- that's a tough one to predict. I-, I think it could go either way, to be honest. And well, even even so, like they haven't shown no one, literally no one has shown that they can actually create, design, develop a new crash game properly. Right. Don't want to be in the way when my lady no one has has even shown any promise in that direction. Like, the only thing they have now is the engine which, you know, seems to work all right, even though they should really rein in the post-processing a bit. Um, but, you know, that's that's fairly minimal, I suppose. But, you know, within that engine, you know, what are they going to do? Like, is that engine even capable? Like, are they sort of thinking of making a new game and then innovating on that within that new engine that I, they yeah made. as as uh, yeah what Cy already said i yeah i think out of spyro and crash i think spyro has more potential to do things with with game design level design and stuff like that as opposed to the crash formula like if we're comparing like cool well, yeah, formulas it's to been each a other much, yeah yeah it's been well spyro has always been a much more free form and sort of open yeah. game in terms of yeah. level design as well so that yes, always exactly. leaves a bit more room uh, uh just yeah like Jack and did. well the thing is we don't have any kind of like i mean the game has been out for like two months now or, or thereabouts and we've got no real like confirmation of any follow-up or no there's been like sort of nothing afterwards it's like the no game's well sort okay of so he, this, here's what it's going to be the, uh, th- and th- this is uh, this won't really be news for most people that have already sort of done their research, but it is very, very uh, heavily suggested that it will be coming out on the Xbox One um, on uh, in December. Exclusively? Which, uh, yeah, uh, like well, so so it, it should be, be coming out on the Xbox version, One. It yeah. may even be coming to PC. That's not as as Wait, uh, which obvious, game are we talking about again? Did I two nab because oh you, oh they're saying they're just. They're releasing it on other platforms as they well. They haven't said it yet, but there was a leak of someone, like someone's like art reel of the game, uh, like like their artist reel, and they were playing. The picture had was, and it was like an official picture. It ended up getting taken down. And everything. It was a. It was a. Um. It was a picture of like the A and B buttons, right? Um. Through the Xbox One, like it, it was like I in hate a save this menu. Fucking stupid hyping bullshit that everyone has to. That do wasn't. Like. That wasn't hype. That wasn't intentional. That was. Uh, <laughs> 
someone it's someone like, some artist had like leaked it uh, like or like not leaked it like not had unwillingly like it was for uh, their it was a, it was like a no it was a private like reel um like show reel for like their animation like it was using like old uh, beta footage and and like this, some this could be like, like that. Remember that poster we saw? That poster of Crash in the background of it someone's like office. It could be, but but if you're if you're a developer, if you're if and you and you've sold one million copies of a game in two days, right? That ended up, you know, and it's been on the top of the the charts of the UK for literally nearly two months. Why wouldn't you want to put it on another console? Like it seems well, pretty logical. I, I to put suppose it. that's a good point, but I don't know if like maybe they had like an exclusive agreement no, with. Uh... Well, they well they didn't because I think uh, because it depends said... on how much the sales. Depends on how much hey, the sales and general sort of hype interest has fallen off, uh, like after that initial boost. I suppose because if it is really just, you know, as it seemed. You know, there were there were a lot of people who weren't all that familiar with the game and were like, oh, you know, this, you know, hardcore old school platformers coming out now, which is supposed to be good, and it's oh, it's got HD graphics and everything, it looks nice and cartoon, and now we can all sort of try that, and and then it sort of pretty much kind of died down a bit, the hype, I feel like, and at least for the main mainstream audience i suppose i don't know i, I feel like part of that is that's, if... that's internet that's the internet because the game is still the number one yeah. selling game in the last two months in australia it's still the number one selling game in the uk it's yeah, but like what else is out to buy though but well, that like, doesn't doesn't it? matter what else is out it, it's doesn't still it, it should it probably does if that's like it, the only thing like it doesn't at all it doesn't at all because again well it is a relative the, thing if it's the, the best selling thing, crash of the titans is. right which was considered a failure, but still technically sold well in the grand scheme of things. Sold two million copies, right? So that was the that was the last full Crash game, right? It was yeah. Crash of the Titans. Oh no! What about Mind of a Mutant? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mind of a Mutant. I, know, I believe I, it only I sold know. a million. Should, should we now? Should we really now be hyping or hyped about not only basically a re-release of a of a twenty-year-old game, but now a re-release of of a re-release? Of a twenty-year-old, like who cares? Oh, what about with, what with you talking about with consoles? With, oh, with like the Xbox. Platform. Well, no, I don't. I doesn't really. I don't really care about it on more on a level more than I do care about it on a level that it. I'm saying that I do believe it. That it, it has a place within the, the game gaming market, where you guys are more on the side of like, ah, oh, yes, yeah, nostalgia. It will just be nostalgia. I feel like there's a bit more to that than just nostalgia. I, well, I think it could go either I'm way. I'm not and saying I've... it's just nostalgia. I'm, I'm saying it's a fairly isolated sort of... But I think, like... It, it, with yeah. Crash, I think... I really do think with Crash, it, it is a, a, a sort of restricted or, or like, small-scale enough platform. It, it reminds me a lot, in a lot of ways, of uh, when they re-released this Mickey Mouse platform. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what? yeah, it's can, it's sort of a that. thing that once you've played through it, you've sort of seen it, and uh, I mean you can still replay it and all that, but but I feel like they don't have all that much to build on uh, unless they get like a whole new sort of unless some kind of actual you know really inspired writer somehow feels like yes I need to take this character and and sort of um, and sort of build on the universe I suppose, but then. But then, you know, you might as well make a new... Well, call me. Like, what, what about, way. like, I don't know, just if you want to talk, like, actual measurable measurable metrics, like, what are you, the viewerships for your Let's Play parts as opposed to, like, the hype videos pre-release? Uh, I'll tell you where they if you're going to, like, yeah, I know what you be saying, like, yeah, when I was getting, like, 15, 20,000 views per video. Do you want to know where those views went? Uh, where? They, they went to PewDiePie, Markiplier, every single big YouTuber that touched the game and completely bumped me off the <laughs> the search suggestions. Yeah, it's like That's, once you trust start, me, e everyone once got onto going, it. Yeah, when it goes it gets into the territory of um, of where it's not a sort of it, it's not an expert's point of view or something. It's not like the type of stuff that people look up. For, from a certain person who knows his stuff about it. That's where, you know, all the established YouTubers will completely Yeah, they all steal. came in, they all swooped in and, um, and like, and you know, it's their right, of course, they can do whatever they want. But they, yeah. And but... I, I mean, that's also where you'd have to release basically the whole Let's Play on, on day one. Yeah, like Teal, did, like, Teal did that, and he Teal did an fucking incredible job. I, I'm guessing that you might have got, Teal might have got the game a couple of days before, 
but I, I know that like when Teal did the LP like I was like blown away I was like holy fuck that's like 17 parts in a day that was crazy mm. and I, th I think it, I think it paid off like I'm pretty sure like you end up getting well, like that's, that's quite a good views but yeah you're way, right you do that's the way though how you get in as a but small at the end, but the thing is though like to, to, to sort of say this like and I you know to me I I'm not all too bothered about the fact that my views on the Insane Trilogy parts aren't like, you know, 10,000 or whatever. Hey, I'd love it to be that case, but I understand that like, you know, yes, okay, I'm not the most popular YouTuber. I'm not going to be preferencing the search results, even though I'd love to be. That's just the just the, the reality of it. Yeah, I know. I, I, I think that that's probably like an unfair yeah assessment but it really just it does i don't know it just it seems you, like I, I i i don't know i don't really think that you're really i'm gonna be harsh and say you're really on the pulse of 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 like what how crash is doing apart well, no, from no, that's 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 like, true but i i even mean, I, 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 my own yeah. life played shit as well so <laughs> but that's i mean that's because i'm an irrelevant mm, we're just speculating here anyway yeah, oh, thank you, yeah, Instromation. Two, a two pounder, two pounder from the Instromation. Thank you, buddy. Why, why, why would you? Oh, that's a two pounder. A two pounder. Oh, you got a five, you got a five pounder. Oh, no, what was wait, that? What he was sounded that? more like a pirate. That's for a fucking uh, Jack and Daxter. That when you do the fishing challenge. Oh, oh yeah. there's a big one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, everyone's complaining about that? that challenge recently because it got re-released on the PS4. But don't be getting them ago. poisonous fish. You poison the whole bunch. What was that, uh, that, that clip on your soundboard, Johnny? Was it, oh, you tart or something? Oh, oh, <laughs> you know, like, you tart. Uh, oh shut up, you tart. This, yeah, this is a fucking pain in the ass. This is fucking Del, shit. Del Trotter. Was that from uh, Only Fools and Horses? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd put some mandatory Only Fools and Horses, like, Rodney, you plonker, and stuff I, like that. I really need to watch that show. I've heard nothing but good things about it. What show? Oh, you haven't seen it? O Only Fools and Horses. Only fools Dude, it's, on horses. it's a classic. Yeah, yeah, I How know. I do you I... fucking get this? Oh, fuck it, wait. You Gotta shoot him time it right, man. So yeah, these controls—they're a lot better than Bugs Life. Uh, clearly, you can't shoot him. Right. Clearly, I'm to think a lot less clunky. I actually don't like. I I like the berry controls in terms of combat better than this because you don't have to. You don't have to actually aim as as properly like they, they sort of go into the direction that you want them to go a bit more i feel like and then there's also homing berries yeah okay. the homing berry no fuck ah oh, fuck super homing berry super duper this booming what was it what was the thing you kept it's fucking face when you when you do the aiming it's like <laughs> like it's taking a shit <laughs> what was it? Oh, that thing you kept referencing only from like Toy Story again. Oh, not Toy Story, Monsters Inc. That you kept saying. Oh, in oh, Japan. Uh, <laughs> the what, Pogo what song. It? What was it? Um, uh, Time to move by, or something. Yeah. Time to move. Yeah. Uh, was it? Time to move. Um, put that thing back where it. Yeah. Yeah, but there's, there's one other thing too. Time to move. Put, put, put that thing back where it. Thing I'm looking. Back where I'm looking. Came from. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 I'm looking, I'm looking, I put that thing back where it, I'm looking, I'm looking. But, but you, used to say, you used to say, I'm walking, that's right. I think, it, what's, I think the, it's... what's the guy's fucking name again? Uh, Billy Crystal? Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. yeah. Marvel. Uh, Billy... yeah, after you, <laughs> uh, uh Nate, Nave, J, what? How do you pronounce that name? These people with their names. I don't have a Discord server, Thanks. um. Uh oh. After you complete the fish challenge. <laughs> Why is Savage Clem just entering, Wait, like, what I. Oh. <laughs> have I, like, mistitled it or something? Or. No, no, no he, he's copying it from the description. What have I done wrong? I don't think he's done anything wrong. I think he's Why just is he copying that? Should I be banning him? No, <laughs> yeah, ban, ban, don't ban him. Ban Savage Oh, look, TJP's here. If he dab, keeps dab spamming TJP. the description, then I will ban him. Have you, have you seen those TJP um, things on Squid? Yeah, yeah I have dab TJP. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Yeah, exactly. Blow uh, skill. Ex oh, here we are. Let's get ready. Owl's fucking blows? penthouse, boys. Blow skill's been around. Blow skill was uploaded like video, like an owl like a video. Like I remember, like it was like he re-uploaded some clip like from like old 2010. 
like shout out thing or something like that. I remember I went on there a while back. You know what? No one does tag videos anymore. You notice that? What if it happened? Jim when Jim when Jim when Best Luke Friend Forty Four got tagged. I got tagged, but I never did the tag video. I mean, I've, I've probably been tagged like three or four times. I'm pretty sure I tagged fucking, fucking what that bastard's that? name. Um, Ratchet Five. I'm pretty sure I tagged Ratchet Five to uh, that bastard. Do Ratchet. do a fucking um, what was it called? Do a freaking the, the ice bucket challenge, but the coward he 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 he, he, he just cowered it out. You never tagged me in the ice bucket challenge. I noticed that. It's I would have done. It. Dude, if if Ratchet if Ratchet would do the ice bucket challenge, like his all the fake parts of him would like fall off and everything. <laughs> his yes. fake, yeah. His yes. fake like uber pale skin would like you know because he, he, he wanted to be as pale as possible. Remember when Dazzy got tagged? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. Here we are. Whatever happened to them? I, I, I'm gonna tag, tag, uh, tag uh, Fraser right now. Give me five, <laughs> five facts about yourself, Fraser. Like, go. Yeah. Now, chat. Five facts. Has to be five. Fra facts. Uh, if you are fr uh, tag a friend whose name starts <laughs> with an F, and he has to give you a, a fuck for free. <laughs> that, and Fraser, you got then you got to tag five people as well once you've done the tag. Yeah. No, that's one of those things, isn't it? I always see Colin doing that. Um, Colin? Colin? Connor. Co Connor O'Neill. Connor. Yeah, oh. Connor on Facebook. He, he yes. Always... big on Facebook. Oh, He's I, very, love like... I love it. I love. Yeah. No. Actually, Fraser said that thing before about <laughs> um, about how he uh, Fraser said that thing. Yeah, thing is about how like he got he tagged us in the uh, the Toy Story. Like that, that, that gameplay or something like that. Yes, yes. In fact, I thought it was Fucking a hot legend. chick uh, liking one of my photos, but unfortunately, it was him. Just so. No. Yeah, it, it ruined my day, actually. It did. No, oh, damn. Yeah. Devastating. I'm truly, I'm upset. Instead of it being a sexy woman, it was a sexy Irishman. Uh oh. Hey, who, <laughs> wait, why was Trolley Mouse t uh, timed out? He's he's fine. It was a joke. It was, oh. Like he was saying. Oh fuck, we can swear, right? Wait, hold on, Fraser. Fraser's like, no, going you can't. Oh, oh, you, no. you better meet up with you better meet up with Kristin Cow. Okay. Oh no. Christian. Oh no, wait, that's Luke. Christian. Christian. Uh, Luke. Uh, Luke Cow. Mar Marinette. I miss I miss Luke. He was a good Yeah, he, he great. appears in streams every now and then. He's a good lad. Yeah, yeah he no. comes he comes. We should you should we should just this like this thing where we like get like a nostalgic person from the past on every now and then. Yeah, that'd be good. That's a good idea, actually. And, like, catch up with him and find out what the fuck happened to them. Yeah, you know, like, you remember like... when we thought Bandy was in the chat? It was just fucking Cameron. Yeah. You bastard, Yeah, well, I know, Cameron. he told me. Yeah, In fact, he's bastard. lost two, two uh, friendship points, actually. He's gone down on my scale. Oh. Wait, who? Cameron Tyler. He, he got my hopes up thinking it was, it was Bandy. Bandy in the chat. But it wasn't. It was Bandy Cameron Tyler. <laughs> 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 Max! Yeah, he said we gotta get Max. We gotta get Max. Uh, oh, let's not get overly fucking nostalgic with yeah, the you, fucking. Yeah, you weren't the there. You weren't there. Yeah. You know, like it's 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 one. It's like one. Yeah, of but those... neither neither were most of the viewers. True. Like you've got to sort Ooh. of. You got to sort of yes, like. Yes, but, but they're viewing really... Conley though. This is his past, not their past. They're watching. No, it for shit. Like, yeah, but but it's honestly, honestly, God. Like I think the first part, like of the the one stream that you did with Ratchet and uh, and all that, like. I don't think people were enjoying the over, overly in joke nature of it. I've like, one. I don't think that's very interesting of a, of a stream. What one? The wait, wait, previous. What, 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 what was the in jokes? One? I don't remember many. Well, I don't remember the. I, 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 I feel, like, didn't you like talk a lot about like, old community stuff or something? Did, I don't think so. Did, did we? No. Maybe well, anyway, anyway, more people watch that one than are watching this one right now. Jackson. I wouldn't. I I just would very much uh, recommend against going like into community stuff that no one really gives a shit about. Or depends on the... unless unless you have an actual anecdote, you know, not just say like, oh, remember Max? Oh, what a weirdo. <laughs> Uh, well, okay. Yeah, I agree. We weren't gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that wasn't. I have, right. I have so many anecdotes about Max Gruber. It's not funny. Are like, they the actually time... fun though? I think they're quite fun. <laughs> fun. Yeah. Or are they just always anecdotes about okay how this person was acting like an autist? And that's it. Uh, but those are fun though. So. No, because there's so many of them out there anyway. Like you see it all the time. I don't know. There's something about Max that are quite unique. To like Max. if if he'd actually like, for instance, hey, if it was like, 
Hey, there was this guy, and he fucking, you know, showed showed his he fucking circumcised uh, himself. Well, on the or something. there's that a story be... that links to that. Technically, someone did so expose him himself. circumcising himself. Or... So, yeah, someone did expose themselves. I just remember this one guy who um who was gonna set his hair on ah, fire like look, a Fraser wants thing. to hear about community stuff on the stream. Yeah, so that, that is one. That is one person. Fraser, yeah. but, but he's the fucking guy who was actually fucking there. There, yeah. yeah. But look, honestly, that well, was, guys, that was the, the people great... have spoken, all right? <laughs> no, I don't know, but like, people, I mean, we're, we're like several years removed from it now, but like, that was such a great time, you know? That was so... It was good fun. Like, it wasn't. It I was. It. it was. You can't tell was... me what I loved and didn't love at, you know, <laughs> you, you during were, high you school. You were like, like... For, like the very tail end. Yeah, and, and also, and, and that's actually a big shame, I that. feel. That is a big shame. I, I, I know it sounds condescending, but it is, because like 2013, like, was such a fucking buzzkill in terms of like everything that actually happened. Right, like... No, but see, at the same time, I can say I did a shit ton of awesome stuff in 2012, so I don't really care about having missed it at all. Well, yeah, yeah, in, in, yeah. yeah, in, yeah and it, it, frankly, hearing the stories, I feel like, you know, geez, I, I'm glad I wasn't there. Ooh. You know, it, <laughs> it, it sounds uh, pretty boring to someone who who wasn't there. So that's I'm just speaking as. Probably the average audience member. You're right, Rude Boyd, you are correct. Same fault. Ah, uh, but yes. look, Cyrenes wants to hear about community stuff, even though he knows nothing about it. Yeah, I, I think, I, it's like... I think it, it. No, honestly, it depends on how it's how it's phrased, how you tell the stories, what context yeah. you give. You know, like I mean, that's but that's with anything. That's just with anything. Like, if it's a weird story every now and then, or like, oh, there was this guy who did like something really ridiculous, but not like name dropping all the time, and that's sort of weird. But the people know. were weird people, though. They were very odd it's people. Just... Like, there's, I, I could like list so many. Yeah, of but the they're movies. a dime a dozen. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's like when Opie just... and Anthony talk about like, <clears throat> you know, they, they don't tend to go on about like some guy who came at in like, in 1999 who was like a weirdo. You know, that that's sort of you know that's that's been and gone. Let's bring on the new weirdos. You know. That's true, but I mean, there are no new weirdos, so that's, that's the problem, like... Well, we're interesting enough, and maybe we'll, you know, there'll probably be some uh, people in chat who, who turn out to be fucking weirdos, so... <laughs> or Fraser is weird. Or uh, as we, as we, as we, um, uh, refine the format, we'll, uh, find room for, uh, getting random weirdos on, on a stream sometimes. Yeah. This is true, but you know, like Teal Game Master was pretty weird. Like he was an odd guy to start off with, you know. Was he? He was fine. Teal yeah, wasn't he was odd. fine, but he was, he was kind of odd. He had his. Do you game. have a, a specific fun an anecdote about it? Because uh, like uh, I'm all good with that. But, yeah. No, not for Teal. Not about Teal. I've got some about Bandy if you want to hear those. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> fucking Bandy. <laughs> see, but see, I, 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 I was around for plenty of weird Bandy nonsense, and I don't really feel like there was that much interesting shit to tell about that. I don't know, this, I love Except, the whole like, about him I could say like, oh yeah, there was this weird fucking Jew guy. Uh, I like the part where we're gonna make him potentially incriminate the guy. That, 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 that... <laughs> Avoiding national service for... Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna reasons. say, that's basically <laughs> illegal. Oh, uh, I mean there's, you know... Oh, yeah, did he? Has Machine King, you know, has oh some, and... God. The Machine King, and you yeah, know... But Ratchet 5, everyone knows Ratchet 5. Yeah, least. so I think that's good, because we can, like, talk about all his weird shit over the years. Well, you can talk about a, a few weird things, I suppose, but I wouldn't go into too much Now detail. we're just talking <laughs> about talking about weird things, as opposed to talking about <laughs> exactly, weird Exactly, yeah. Well, right. you know, I'm just trying to... Well, why, why don't I tell a story about how Max Groover... Groover... <laughs> Groover... <laughs> Uh, uh, let me think. What was that story? The one where he... No, I see that. But they're, all, they're all buzzkill stories. They're like... Yeah, they, they all involve... Buzzkill? Buzz can't be killed. They're all downbeat, like... You know... You know it, like, implicating people in, like... Horrible things. I was gonna say, you yeah. You know what they should have made yeah. a, a, a game of... Um, hey Arnold. Have they made yes, a game of that? Yes, they should. I think only, like, GBA and GBC games. So just shit. Basically. That lends itself oh, very yeah. well to um to sort of like urbanize. Yes, like, yes, yeah. yes. I... Well, yeah. that's what this this Slay room Kings. kind of reminded me a bit of. You know how with the his like sort of guys. Look at the law, guys, right now. Look at the laws. Look at the law, right now. Oh, but you're about to see it. You, 
the uh, this is the room. This is ours room where where the boys where the boys hang out. Fuck yeah, the boys. <laughs> Lauren. Where he invites the boys to. So we literally see it in the movie. It's Guys, it's lore. Lore? Where's the yeah, book? But now you're lore. exploring it. You're exploring it yourself without, you know, without... Seeing a cutscene, uh, yeah. See, see I, have, I have something that uh, very few Oh, possess. okay. What's a cutscene? <laughs> I have an imagination. Maybe I'm a bit behind. No, I can... Uh, Guys, I yeah, can isn't, that, like... isn't that cool? But, but, but that's the cool thing about, like, uh, a game not... You know, that's the cool thing about a lot of... I think a lot of older games are more immersive because you can... They sort of really let you use your imagination to just the right sort of... Degree. No, they ruin my imagination. They, in fact, in fact, they take away from my imagination. It's our Malloy's room, yeah. yeah. What, lots of birds or lots of pigeons? <laughs> it cracks open a cold one with the boys. Who did that? Oh. Who did that? <laughs> Alcohol! Yeah, I wouldn't mind you know, that I, I, I never told the story for twenty first either. That that story hasn't really been told yet. No, that that'll be told for a, a big I feel like that needs it that needs it that needs like a a um that needs well, a bit of hype behind it. You know, truth. like I feel like that needs more than just a Do a, a radio a, tease. Exactly. I feel like the hype behind your twenty first like the hype behind it would I don't know, I feel like it might uh, Let's keep oversell building to it. it. That's yeah, well, that, right, let, we'll let's oversell the fuck out of it. Let's oversell the fuck out of it, because I think that's funny. Like, well, it was you at your lowest point I've ever seen you, and me at my lowest point you've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, oh, you know, what? at the time it certainly didn't feel that way because I, as here's the tease, I don't remember any of the bad parts. So that's like, if you think about it, was it really us at our lowest lows when we don't even remember the bad bits? We only have it no, told no, no, through no. someone always, else's perspective. Always... Or you talk about the morning like, after. Like, that is, you don't remember because you were at your lowest lows. No, but you know what? Out. I was no because the thing. How do I explain? I, I I'm don't, just I don't saying. Want to go I'm not detail. even being serious, by the way. I have no idea what. No, no. I, I remember. I remember the morning after when I was um, trying to like. When you woke up and yeah. your back was sore, you had no. like you had like suction marks all over your body in the in the shape no, of no, no. Andrew's Oops. mouth. And his arm was around you as well. Oh, jeez, that's like and... when I woke up next to you, Johnny. Why? Well, hey. Well, your, your arm was around me. No, your I don't think that happened. Maybe your legs were. You... Actually, now we're just getting fucking weird. This Didn't is... I say your legs? I oh, know this, this is like int this is interesting. This is... I think. Yeah. Well, no, that's right. You were just my, slept in Were my legs bed. around you? I do have restless leg syndrome. Yeah, you yes, didn't remember yes. that. You had rest. Yeah. This was you when woke I woke up. Your legs were great. Ruboid's getting the fan art ready. Ruboid is getting the fan art ready. She does. She does really good artwork. So, she. Oh yeah, do it. By all means, I love some uh, BL fan work. Some yeah. uh, some some Yaoi shipping. Oh Jesus. So here's... I think no, but the thing I love that. Who, who's the, what's this? G4. He's a big fan of the oh, Angus. G4 X, loves it. Angus X Andrew uh, shipping. <laughs> Well, uh, we can say that we, we, we've spent more than, uh, the occasional night in the same bed together. Yeah, usually it's just convenience, fellas, you know, that, that's what, that's, that's what we tell ourselves. Yeah, you buy it, you buy it. Oh, you G4's gonna oh. die. When G4 inevitably watch back, because he will, watches back yeah, this yeah. entire thing, he's gonna just be loving it. He's gonna well, watch back the entire thing because you recorded video footage. You know, I, of, I don't mind, I don't mind having a quasi-homosexual thing going on. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I think it, I think it just further reinforces my you know. That's that's always what you say when you know people sleep over at, at your house like before you go to bed. Oh, just by the way, guys, I don't mind having a bit of a quasi homosexual yeah. thing going on. Just just so you know. Now let's get in bed. <laughs> exactly. That's and that's the thing. Like like I think the funny thing is like you know not not to, not to dis, not to destroy any people's illusions here for a second. Not to be too in on the joke, but I think it like yeah what what Angus is saying like it sounds funny but like it's actually true like being comfortable with your own sexuality like me be actually being straight you know like I, I have zero problem like joking and like sort of making suggestions because it doesn't make me like reconsider like oh like oh look at this I'm I'm mm. I'm not straight ah, but, but, you know like but there was that time uh, look at this. In, the, in, the, in the Japanese uh, hot springs when uh, I had a, th a moment a moment oh, of <laughs> You had, you had a moment you saw of, a lot of Japanese ass. Was that was that where? Uh, I think I think the worst one. No, that was okay. I think the worst one was. Do you remember the that, kids, that real the kids. dodge? No, 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 no. That real dodge wow. point. <laughs> okay. That we went to when there was no one else there. It was just you, me, and Liam. Oh shit. That was <laughs> hot as fuck. 
That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, mm, that was it was hot. It was hot as fuck. It was very we were all naked. It was so hot. That's basically oh. what happened. <laughs> That was so, that was such a like set up thing. Hey, Razy. There was no cover. I would I would feel I would feel pretty uh, uncomfortable to be honest uh, with that whole setting. With the onset. I don't, I don't know, really like to be. About... It was like yeah. the third or fourth time we'd done it, so it really. Yeah, didn't I didn't care. Us. I didn't bother me like, but but at the same time, yeah, I would have preferred everyone else. To, it was just, it was just it wasn't no. The problem with that one, right, is that um, the problem. The problem with this one was that uh, is that is that it was it was like it was just a shit onsen like it was just crap yeah. like the other one like had a bunch. Of... <laughs> it was way too hot. There, there was, was, there was so no there was no steam there to like just you know disguise. Well, or but hide. you guys certainly made it steamy. It was very <laughs> brightly lit too. It was like broad daylight out, so like the skylight was just projecting just light. Just turns out it was just a it was just one of those gay bathhouses. <laughs> yeah. You think it was. It was but, and, and but, like it was run by like this Instead old lady. Instead of steam in the air, it's like evaporated AIDS. Yeah. And like, okay, so the thing with Japanese is like onsens, like you, you you know you strip down to your your bare bottom, and you've got an option <laughs> of of the you know the temperature. Just your bare bottom. You still have to wear a sock around your cock. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got you've got a choice of the the temperature you want. So you could have you could have like um. You know the the medium you one, could boil the hot yourself one, yeah. or the one that's not that hot. You know, so there's options there. God, but... how yeah, that crazy hot one, like. I'd say. Also, it didn't help that that was the same day that you were like pissed off at me for not liking Lucha Underground. As oh, well. that 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 is that that's out of context. You can't say that oh, and, and imply that it was uh, like that was as simple way, as it was. Well, yeah. Have you even made it clear that this was you guys were on holiday in Japan and you went to an on on? Oh, I know. I think we just jumped. See, that's yeah, the problem with the story. Yeah. It just like started like. It is, <laughs> this is the thing. I feel like we need to adjust to having an audience, so to speak. Yeah, so that's that's a good point. Oh well, look, the next time I tell a, a homoerotic story, I will, uh... I will I'll start. make sure to set the scene. <laughs> yes, so, okay, so we were in, we were in, uh, we were in, uh, Dublin. Which is more in... direct than a porno. We were in Dublin, which was in Ireland, and Conley and I were both very sick at this point in time. We couldn't be asked finding another hotel room, so... You were well, we bringing to... your filthy Australian diseases over. Yeah, well, we contracted a disease, and we were staying it's, in a really called, nice called place. It's called Conor McGregor disease. Oh, hey. But the problem was, with the place we were staying in, they, they wouldn't let us be there another night because the uh, French rugby team... Oh, it was such a fucking colossal shame. In hindsight, one of the worst decisions of my life, I must say. Not not booking that hotel the entire Dublin trip. Oh, like, for sure. Just for a sure. colossal so, mistake. We stayed in this really nice place called the Bulls Bridge in, in uh, Dublin, Ireland, and... We, we were quite sick at this point and lethargic too. Like, we were sleeping in quite late and we were wasting our days away. Oh, I and... wish you'd done that when you were here. Yes. And waking up every morning at 5 a.m. I know, I know. I had, but I was still on my, my way of work schedule when I was at your place, so I was still getting up pretty early. But, so the problem was, we had to find a new hotel to stay in because we um, basically had no option. This and is we... not the push story, right? You're not... Yeah, this is. Oh, this is no, this, this one's just too... This is just dumb. Because that, that is by far my... That is the lowest point of it. That, that's a good story. It's a good story. So we then we then found this place oh, called... I think it's no. called the, the townhouse. Dude, this guy, by the way, this boss is shooting uh, like bugs boss. like berries at you. Mm. Anyway, so the townhouse that we stayed in... Uh, well, it wasn't oh. a townhouse. That was the name of the hotel. Uh, the one... The room we were stayed in... Had, is it like in Peep Show? <laughs> Yeah, it was like a pretty dingy place, and we had there was no in, internal elevator, so we had to carry our suitcases upstairs, which we were really like fucking like tired and sick at this point. And fucking. And, and anyway, so so we get there, and there's you know there's two single beds, and we're like, okay, that's fine. There's two single beds. We'll just sleep in them. We, we and, couldn't. We couldn't okay, sleep. Okay, fine. I guess Long for story once we. We can't sleep in the same bed. Oh, but but Conley was like rolling around and he was legs were like dangling off the end of it and basically he couldn't sleep in it because it was like it was too small for his, his yeah. large frame. Yeah. So what we <laughs> oh, had Oh wait, yeah. Is is he's I like I alright that's where this is going. I, I can't handle this. I can't handle this. So I, I can't up... handle being apart from you. <laughs> so we end up pushing the two beds together, right? <laughs> and, and I wake up the next morning and he's oh like on God. top of me. That, well, like, I didn't remember that part of the story. This is this is you blindside of me here. Me. Oh shit, no, no, well, I apologize. Our legs, our legs, 
our legs became grapevined around one another. That's and just too expressive up... language. Oh, so yeah. maybe you were the culprit when it happened with me. No, no, he was I solely was. on my side of the bed. He was solely on my side of the bed. There was, I must, I must stress, there was no penetration of any kind. <laughs> but oh, come on. But it, it I'm was, sure it was quite not. An interesting, an interesting experiment in uh, in <laughs> friendship dynamics because, like 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 I said, Conley really couldn't sleep on his own I, in that I, single I bed. Actually, and and you, you know what? You know what? Here's what I'm going to psychoanalyze it. Right? Here's what I think it was. Right? It was like because because um, I was sick. Because yeah, I think like being drunk, sick, so sick, I and also just like a couple nights before, I had like I met like I met like Ellen for the first time. So I think I was used to like sleeping with someone. Right. So, so right. I'd met her. I'd met her for the first time, and we hadn't sealed the deal, so to speak. But I still really needed to bust a nut. If if MP Carlson's watching this, this is going to the highlight reel. I, I know it is, but he's never been preparing for me. My God. But but yes. Um. Yes. I think I think we calculated on that trip. I slept in the same bed as you more nights than you and your girlfriend slept in the same bed. Disgrace. Up yeah, to so, now. So okay. Like, so that. So that. So, like, to, to, so including that's... like the past two years, like no, uh, no. He's still he's still slept in. I know, but yeah, that would have been funny if you still. That's a great slept comment there by the uh, Nate. <laughs> Nate V J. Navy J. Yes. Native. 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 I don't know. Nate. I don't Native. know, man. Nate the novel. I can't, I can't, this can't, this can't ever get out, guys, so you have to all promise me you keep this to yourself. <laughs> if my, if my employers knew about this, oh my god. Oh, they, well, okay, so, so here's the other bit of context. Um, <laughs> Fraser, uh... <laughs> when, when you want to bust a nut and Angus is the only thing you got. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> oh, come on, hey, come on. Hey, any, any day, any day. JP8K is like, who are the girls in this chat, yo? That's not his, that's not <laughs> his accent at all. Hey, where do white women at? Legendary Andrew, Andrew Bork. Is that your victor? Your victor? Oh, I will have on as a guest right? someday. Not today. No, that's not my victor. That's from either. a film, Blazing Saddles. It's like. No, no, I was uh, talking Conley. I was saying Conley, was, like, that was his victor, Crash Legend 25 voice. It's Victor. Remember that guy? Yes, that's, I, that's remember, another... I remember I voice hate women, legend. I hate men. <laughs> I hate oh my god. Men, yes. When he said, I hate woman, I hate man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, do you want to hear a funny Victor story that has to do with this? Nah. Okay, so Victor, Victor's a big, a big black, sorry, Negro. can I say that? A colored gentleman uh, on the internet. And I remember being like, I, I, did, I don't really know the guy that well, but I was in a Skype oh, chat with is him this, and Crash this is, Oh, this wasn't when we were in um, Lyle's house, right? No. No, 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 no. Yeah. And basically, Victor he was like complaining. He's, he, sorry. He, he was complaining of pain in the testicle region. Wow. Um, no, miles, Victor. Yo. Victor, Wait, because no, no, fuck you, derailing my story, Johnny. No, you got to be more clear than this. You were in Lyle's house. No, which... no, don't listen to Conley. He's he's derailing. Oh. I said I was in a Skype chat with Crash Bandisbury 12 okay. and Victor, and basically I didn't know Victor pretty much at all at that point and he was like openly confessing to me that he hadn't masturbated in well so long. once you know one of them you know them all he's getting testicular <laughs> pain and he needed to jack off immediately otherwise he'd be in like a a situation yeah uh, so he, he had the it's proverbial situation. blue balls except yeah yeah that's yeah. what i joked about just 10 seconds ago that i thought he was like that wasn't the story but it actually was because johnny i think you've got to be more on top of what the fuck is going on you're like two seconds behind me where like you I to gotta be on top of things. Yeah, you're always seeking yeah. clarification when I think I'm explaining myself just fine. Wait, who said I was? Who said I was, When was I asking about clarification? I was just saying. I was just Lyle's segueing. Even the, I clearly outlined. Yeah, because he was going like, "Oh, this is when we were at Lyle's house, right?" So I, obviously, I think now that that's got something to do with it. And I said no to that. I said no to yeah, that. Yeah, well, once once you said no, then I was like, sure. You always do this to me, Johnny. You always I, make me, I, always tell, I always tell a great story, and then you just completely just derail it. You no, but what you do is you tell a story that's like only that makes sense to people who oh, were sort of part of it, or like who would like who would like know exactly already like in advance the people you talk about. It's good <laughs> no, to have sort no, of a, you want to you set can't. the scene a bit, you know. I set the scene. I said we were, uh, whatever, whatever. I just have to say though, I'm 
quite like I'm not drunk, but like it's I'm really overtired at this point because I've been up for. You're like, saying that I've got to be on top when you know. How can you expect me to adjust to your standards of being on top, especially on top of Andrew? Oh, no, you're on top of Andrew. Blows girl says, "Is Crash Benny's bro twelve still around?" He weirded me out. Yeah. You know, Wait, can someone, if someone has a direct line. Oh, yeah. Crash Benny's aspire. Yeah. Like, if someone has a lion's dingo crash or Crash Benny's bro twelve, tell tell that to him to like. I don't unblock know, add us. us or unblock us or something. I'm pretty sure we're all blocked. I think all of us I'm are. I'm blocked. Yeah. He's blocked me Wait, on who? Facebook. He blocked, blocked me on. You're on blocked on Facebook Fa as well. Yeah. Okay, Johnny. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We were talking about Crash Bandicoot at all. Okay. Not like more. Well, than see, no, seconds. no. Okay. The, the, like, the problem is, I I sometimes miss words like that. I miss like when you mention a name because I'm actually checking out the chat. Ah. Um. You know, because I still want to keep abreast on what the people are yeah. saying. Okay, all right. So, yeah, but just see. just bear in mind that if I say something, well, you're not paying attention, and then you ask me for clarification, it does kind of annoy me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, yeah, baby. Listen more carefully. So yes, anyone who has any. I would of be on it if if my Angus were to christ in the rope folly I have erected. Oh dear, the oh dear. You know, um, the interesting thing is, I, I think, like, you, you know how, um, I would basically consider Andrew Conley, uh, Crystal Vision, my uh, in real life yeah, friend I'm... at this point. Same with Johnny, I consider you, like, because I've met you in person, IRL friends, you know, mm -hmm. friends I know. Anyone you've met in person. A... Yeah, well, no, not anyone I've met in person. I think you, we have to have a certain rapport when we meet up in person, I think. But that's I the, think we have big... to have uh, fucked at least one. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have shared. We have to have together. slept together. <laughs> but well, we didn't I'm... actually. No, no, we didn't. We didn't. But the point I'm making though is is that if if you want to talk about people, I was actually really considering like meeting up with Crash Bandicoot 12 was the first one of the first, if not the first person, who we even like considered meeting up with, you know, in real life. Yeah. Like that was that was that just goes to show I think the length of our like friendship at that point in time was that we actually, you know, were looking forward to and possibly even like, you know, seeing it on the horizon that we would. Uh, yeah. I I think I think it just uh, illustrates uh, that you were fucking lonely. <laughs> Rude boy, yes. No. I think chats do allow links. But yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not. <laughs> this new it it illustrated that that like in um, those early days I think it, you. Relationships, were, like strong relationships, were formed very, not easily, but like, like there was a lot more like of uh, communication back and forth going on then. You know, I probably spoke to that guy like every single day. Well, yeah, maybe we, like, because you were less. Yeah. <clears throat> maybe you know, because months. you were, maybe because you were, were more naive about how you know people were were in real life. Like you can quickly like by just chatting to someone, you can sort of get a get an idealized idea of someone in your head but maybe now you sort of you've learned that many people are actually you know fucking retards so you don't form those those yeah. friendships as quick well that's true i suppose like i mean it it, <coughs> it was definitely like because okay how long did i know you before i actually met up with you in person johnny it was like two and a half years probably right like from like yeah, mid 2013 that. to 20 January 2015. Hey, actually, more like a year and a half, actually. I think, yeah, it's less than two and a half. Yeah, it was, it was a year and a half, right? Oh, so, fucker. That, that's, and, and we click very quickly. Like, <laughs> when, like, you, when you speedily walk up the... <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when you frame skip up the fucking pole, it just looks up. So... <laughs> but yeah, go on, sorry, yeah, I Yeah, sorry, I was saying, like, we clicked pretty much immediately. Like, you, you know, like, are you sort of always Conley's, more Conley's friend than you were my friend? Uh, but know? I... I tend to have that with uh, people. If I find someone interesting, then I can sort of click with them immediately because I'll just I'll just keep asking shit or like I'll keep like you know sort of engaging them in conversation. And like you were like just a ridiculous fucking guy with a r hilariously weird like silly voice and uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a silly voice, do I? Please tell and me. And way of talking. <laughs> So, so of course I'm gonna. No, and I'd already I'd heard you a few times in like I'd heard you in the Let's Play of uh, Bugs Life that uh, Andrew did. So, 
Yeah, no, yeah, you're just a very funny cool. person to talk to for me. Uh, <laughs> and, and you're also kind of no bullshit, you know, you're not like one of those, um, one of those sort of really, like, you, like you, you don't speak differently because you, because of some social anxiety thing where, you, where you're trying to speak respectably or something, you know, mm. like, yeah, no like, decency, oh, I haven't... essentially, you know. Well, you know, yeah. well, actually, actually, I'll tell you something interesting. Like, recently I started working in, like, a, a new building with new people. And, you know, I'd been really comfortable with the people I'd been with before. I'd been with them for, like, almost That's three awesome. years, you know. So, you know, like, it was very, very casual. And, you know, like, I'd clicked with these people. And then I moved on to another area. And I had to basically make new friendships from, like, scratch. And, you know, I've been there for, like, two months. And this guy sleep with another bunch. There's this guy I work with called Marcelo. And he and I are, like just two peas in a pod you know he and i like i Cello don't know <laughs> yeah him yeah like we get on fantastically and it's just two you know, peas you know, in it's a like I, I don't really consider myself to be like an overly sociable kind of person but an you know, overly like, gay just... person but for him i probably i think i'm just it's... quite good at like I, I, making i said this i said this to and uh, at ratchet five yesterday i said i wanted to make one of those memes um where it's like that indian sort of meme where it's like friendship ended with andrew now marcello is my best friend you know that you know those me and then Indian. and then and then do yeah. a follow up one, uh, friendship regained with Andrew. Now Andrew and Marcelo are my best friends. <laughs> and have like you know like Photoshop that that that. Yeah, it's a, it's well, a, okay, all right. I'll get I'll get a picture of myself shaking his hand uh, on Monday. <laughs> okay, now I've got. To, I'm trying to find this final um, du rubber ducky. Oh I my god, I, guys! I watch I free it is. sex live cam. Easy oh, as one, fuck two, three. Off, Esme. No, let's do it. Wait, no, I know her. Yeah, she's I, uh, I let her uh, advertise her business here because she's an up and comer and and she can make you a comer. V girl. Ah. Okay, I'll, Dot I'll, I'll block. I no, block. don't block. Jo Johnny, it's another viewer. Come on, they're viewing. 40 is 40. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, do they count as viewers Greetings. as well, will they? Retro Fugue. I think they Welcome. Yeah, it's pr actually retro fugue. I think fugue, you're fine. Fugue, retro, retro fugue. fugue state. Where the fuck were you the last hour? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are my hard boiled eggs? I knew you were gonna say better that. Better fucking I, I watch the vibe. Yeah. It's Arrested Development. Of course, I'm gonna quote it. Oh, fuck. oh uh, how hyped are you for Arrested Development season five? By the way. Yeah, it should be good. We're having all the cast back in one place. I'm not. You know. Oh, yes, I knew. I knew. I knew as soon as I said that, Johnny would say, "Oh." Who cares about Arrested Development? Ugh. Well, because season four was garbage. Garbage. And oh my god. Hey, Nan Bahibito. <laughs> with two AUD. <laughs> Marcelo on the next stream or we riot. Yeah, let's get I wanna have a right. fight with Marcelo. <laughs> Just be like, I'll hey, who I'll the fuck you. are you? It's like, and, and then I'll get into a fight if, whether he watches Lucha Underground or not, and I'll be like, if you don't I, watch I, I, your I, own namesake, you should just end yourself. Uh, no. I'm sure he's getting a <laughs> Whoa, big that kick out of us uh, talking about him. Yeah. Sure he Not is. That he would have he's he's a big car enthusiast, you know, so he gets into like a lot of those car... He goes to those car meetups, you know? Those, those yeah, ones he was they... in uh, Comedians and Cars with Jerry Seinfeld as well. He was. Thank Marcellus you know. was in Comedians and Cars getting coffee. Oh, no, Who's this to get? Who's Marcellus Wallace again? Marcellus, Marcellus Wallace, Wallace is, is a character. from that movie, right? Um, a Pulp Fiction. In Pulp fact, fiction. oh yeah, that's Pulp there it is. Fiction. I, I oh, was watching Pulp Fiction. Was. Only two nights. Actually, last night I watched it last night for some reason. What I don't know I, why. It was the last movie I saw. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. I find I watched the movie The Room with Ando. Oh, um, good movie. Great. <laughs> yeah, you know I I genuine I I'm serious. I unironically enjoyed that movie. I just oh, thought I loved it was it. a but fucking train. How could you not enjoy it? Like it's just it was it was like it actually wasn't boring. Right, you know how like you think like it's like you know like this the, is the, the th same thing I have with Ratchet's films though. Right, you've seen <laughs> you've seen the room, I take it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and all the like, there's all these great quotes, but like the you know like the whole like you're tearing <laughs> me apart, Lisa. Like that's there's like plenty of other good quotes as well. Like it's not yes. just like the two the two quotes. That, I mean, obviously, of course, that you know I did not hit her. It's no, bullshit. I, that's fantastic. I love that. But there's there's I, plenty I, of I, other good quotes. Yeah, 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 I think you could expect that when you see, like, even when you see just the few stupid things that are made into, oh, wait, well, yeah, no, the few things that were made into memes, I think you can sort of tell that the sort of guy who made this, there must have been a lot more gold in there, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and I mean, you know, you know the story about how they had, like, a film crew who, like, quit after, like, halfway through production because they, like, 
they thought this guy was a nutcase, so he like got a completely brand new film crew to finish the rest of it. Yeah. Well, like I mean, me, me and Ander, like as as film students, you know, we just laughed our ass off at like all the establishing shots and like how they pan forward, then they pan back, right? Like oh, it was how just many shots the, of the? Uh, oh my god, the bridge, the Golden Gate. The bridge. bridge, yeah, the bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. How many times is that shot? Oh, can we talk about the flower shot no. scene? No. Oh my god. The greatest Fuck. scene like, in film. You're my favorite customer. Like, okay, bye. Like, it's just. Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't recognize it was you. Yeah, it's like. Five what? Yeah. I've oh. been in the car for an hour. To no, no, breeze, no, mate. You, to breeze. I know, to I breeze know is, what you're fucking to, mean. I just have to say this, like, because th this is. You know, to, bree to breeze is, like, the most generous person ever. Like, dude, if you don't feel pressure, like, man, you've given me, like, 20 pounds or something right now. Thank you very much. I. I Only. <laughs> I promise you, it's, it's going. It's going to a good cause. Day. It's going to a good is cause. It? Yeah, it's what, going. It? It's going. See, well, it's going to. I, I keep, this what? is why I have to keep reading the chat because you know people feel uh, unheard. So yeah, exactly. They, need to of course. they feel they, like they need to don't. Uh, or maybe I shouldn't read the chat because of yes, that, so generally. that they feel like they need to donate to. Wait, who, uh, wait sorry. You know, who's TGX? Know. Sorry, before we go back to the room, who, who's TGX? Anyone know who TGX is? No. Uh, it sounds familiar, but no, I know, uh, I know TGR. I think I know TGM. I know L G R. Japanese restaurant. TGIF. Yes, the Japanese restaurant TGI Fridays. Oh, we, we told Joe about that story, right? Just real quick, real quick. No, this is real personal. We told Joe about that story, and he actually believed it was a Japanese restaurant. My friend Joe. What? Um, believe, uh, believe. Scott, okay. Scott My friend Joe believed that TGI Fridays was a Japanese restaurant based on a story I told him about going to one in Japan. Sorry, that, uh, that's that's a lot of actually, context, but yeah. Tell that story. You should tell the story about the TGI Fridays in Japan. It's a quick. I think one. I've already. I think I've already talked about it in the stream. I'm pretty sure, but this who, stream. Who I wants to hear so. it again? But um, I just quickly do acknowledge uh, to Breeze's point here. Did you watch? Uh, no, so I haven't seen the reviews. But if they're doing a review of Crash Bandicoot Warped, I'm I'm I will definitely check it out because, like, it's always weird. Like that Crash Warped is is. I think it's becoming more polarizing as the years go on. So, like, I'm kind of interested where people think about, like, whether the vehicles were, like, because early on, like, it was just unanimously praised. But I feel like people are, like, okay being a bit more critical of it now, now that it's been 20 fucking years, you know, and they're sort of okay being like, yeah, okay, it wasn't perfect. But, um, mm. yeah, so I'll check Well, you know, the, I... gen the Generation Extreme is apparently what it stands for. Ah. TGX. I've always <clears> and it's a lot of. Superior to Crash 3, but. What was it? Sorry, you thought what was superior to Crash 3? Uh, Crash 2 was always. Oh, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Um, what was it saying? Yeah, but yeah, like yeah, the flower, the flower shop scene is great. I, I mean, just, just the character, um, Lisa. What the fuck? Uh, like, you could not be, you could not be a more, um, like just. I guess piece of shit, really. Like she was just, she was just, so, and like I love it how it was written from the perspective <coughs> of that. Like everyone that talks about Tommy, right, is like so full of praise Johnny, for him. Such a Peter, John, Johnny, yeah. Like the cat, everyone's like, oh, Johnny, oh, he's I my best friend. Tommy. Like he's such a nice guy. He's such a class, class guy. You know, like I, oh, you know, he he buys all this stuff for you. Oh, like he works at a bank. Everything is written to make him look good, right? Have you oh, noticed yeah. that? Yeah. But Crystal Fisher, how's your sex life? Yeah, exactly. That's a bit of a weird answer. Just yeah. completely unrelated. Uh, 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 we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a reference to it's the a reference. I know. Yeah. I, was say, I know. That's it's funny. A fucking reference. But funnily enough, some people wouldn't actually know that yet because they haven't seen the movie. That's um, right, and they might have. Oh, well, I mean, I was uh, genuinely asking. I think even how the way he said it, I think made it pretty clear. No, I was genuinely curious. How? I mean, we're, we're very, very, very open about these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on streams. You're, in fact, you're <laughs> gaping. <laughs> That's how open you are. No, no, we won't. We won't go there. Crystal Fisher is a respected member of the uh, streaming community, and uh, to divulge such personnel. What's supposed to me. Oh, I was gonna say like, if he did, if he did open his ga gaping hole for men, would you say he wouldn't be respectable anymore? That's right. His, he would lose the the respect of his fan base, who see him as a wholesome. And you know, um, um, a trustworthy member of the community. You're so correct. Phrases says Andrew's sex life is Finnish. <laughs> I don't get it. Can someone, can someone explain that to me? I don't understand. His girlfriend is from Finland. 
No, that doesn't mean anything. You're telling me him and his girlfriend have actually, you know... Um... Sex. Yes, that's a, a special form of what? chemistry. I wasn't talking about sex. God, Johnny Natrium. I was this saying, was what the fuck it's, was it's that? Andrew, sex. It's Liam. Liam's laughing about something. That actually right sounded like Aaron. That's fucked up. That was a boy? I know, exa Liam? exactly. Yeah, exactly. Liam, I know, Liam I know, right? Tackles, though. Liam tackles, you know his laugh. Yeah. You, you know, can I actually... I think, I think you've just got a fucking, you know, a girl and you're hmm. locked in your closet. Johnny Natrium, yeah. I can assure you, I have not got a girl in my bedroom. Or house. <laughs> I've not got a girl anywhere in my life. Oh my Johnny god. Johnny Sorry, just quickly. TGX says that the second game is a terribly flawed classic. I can't agree with that one. Right. Terribly flawed. Come well, on. only, only if you say that they're all flawed classics because you know they're all flawed you know there's there's not many games that have no flaws i guess um, yep. i would i, uh, give, say, I would I say would yakuza space zero space. is a flawless oh. game i said except for Which? space because there's no yakuza. floor it's isn't because it's in yeah, space it's too, it's... yeah and it's, it's also kind of too simple really to have a floor i suppose what is space okay, Space Invaders. Oh. <laughs> Favorite stream attention. quote. Yeah. Now I'd just be requeeting, re re requeeting, re bequeathing the say the quote. How is your sex life? Yeah. It's just it's a it's a great movie. And I said yeah oh, exactly. Okay. Now I'm just repeating what I said in the stream. So that's not funny at all. Oh, uh, that was great. It's great. That went over <laughs> well. Oh shit. I fell. You fell. Yeah, we're actually pretty close to completing this game. Two parts. I'm wasting taken. my Saturday night doing this. I, I could have. I, there's so many more things I could be doing tonight than being here. Well, you know, yeah. shut the fuck up, Angus. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, when like I this. Fight? This is like I tell you what my ideal Friday, and, like Saturday nights are like within the context of my life, like you know, right? Like besides going to TGIF. Yeah, besides going there, like I, it's like pretty much hanging, like just like doing like streams or talking to my hanging friends. Hanging myself. Hanging myself. <laughs> or auto erotic. Um, <laughs> or or like or yeah, just or just no, like going point. to like Andos or something like that and watching like a TV show or a movie or something with a couple beers. At least make I'm a sure that fella. Aaron is spotting you when you do the autoerotic asphyxiation because mm. you don't want to end up like all those singers who've died lately. That's who right. Died? My my favorite uh, way of spending a Saturday night is anything that doesn't involve me sitting Lakers. crying about my Universe depressing Lakers. loneliness. Well anything then, I'll... this is. Great, right? Ranger yeah, Ranger that's right. Anything other than this is great. Look at that speedrun technique. Ranger, oh, universe damn. Protection, universe. Yeah. <laughs> who was that person who Ranger, died of auto erotic asphyxiation that we were talking about recently? We Everyone. Talking... Someone, no, there was someone specific that we were talking about who died of that. Well, Jeez. didn't this fucking Velvet Underground singer die most recently? I'm not sure. Uh, that... Eddie Vedder? No, he's not. Uh, he's probably not dead, actually. He's, he's probably someone else. Ranger, universe protection, universe. No, oh, but he's still alive. Ayurveda is still alive. Uh, Chris Cornell and... Oh yeah, that, fucking, that, what's that his fucking it. name? Yes. Lincoln yes. Park, I've become so numb. Yeah. I shouldn't be smiling Who while I say this. Is... That was terrible, that was awful. No, that was re I, I, I really used to like Lincoln Park as a kid, so it was, that was ve Ugh. devastating, no, no, actually. But, no, but didn't, didn't he die by suicide though, Chris he Cornell? He killed himself. Not, uh, yeah, yeah both Chris Cornell right. and... Thing no, he died by autoerotic asphyxiation, but they call it suicide, you know. To save face. Yeah. <laughs> That's not funny. But yeah. He was found hanging off a doorknob. Is that really? Uh, um, yeah, according to reports, anyway. A doorknob? How, cause one, how does one do that? That must be pretty high. For doorknob. erotic asphyxiation. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Auto car asphyxiation, what the? No, it was, it was one of the, um. Ah, oh, it's gonna. Kill me now. I don't know. I'll, I'll find out. Oh, don't let his suicide claim <laughs> another death. No, it was the guy. Okay, see, it was. It was the <laughs> they all killed themselves. It would have. Ah. It was all. It was all a rot. Auto erotic asphyxiation. Robin Williams as well. David Carradine. That's who it was. David Carradine. Yeah, Carradine. Whatever. Carradine. Carradine. That guy. Carradine. Whatever. You know who I'm talking about. Nope. Who the fuck are you talking about? I don't know David Carradine? I'm joking for fuck's sake. Wait, you do know him or you don't know him? Of course I know. Ah, yes. He's, he died he's, of accident. He's still, he's still 
lispy guy from Kill Bill 2. Yeah, oh, so and I guess done. he was in Kill Bill 1. Mm. He was a martial artist as well. Yeah, didn't they didn't they at first think that he was killed by some fucking uh, crazy Japanese mob or something? The Yakuza? Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe so. Oh, fuck. Wait, it says... Like people who, uh, wasn't it something to do with his, like... Yeah, I'm looking this up. Something to do with, like, his acting, some c contract he signed with someone, and they thought that, like, he... He... He lists too much. I, I, would, I would have to read the thing, which would like stump the, uh, you know, the thing. Like, the Kurt Cobain's in Kill Bill. Yeah, no. Kurt Cobain died of autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> like, his, his head, his head was cut off with the, with the, you know, with the. How do you call the thing that ties off your neck? Whatever it was, that the rope or whatever, tied off his head so much that the. The, oh, the blood Ma flow made his head explode. Michael Jeez. Hutchins, the guy from NXS, also died of autoerotic asphyxiation. What exactly is it? Like, what exactly is it even oh. appropriate to discuss about? <laughs> Johnny, tell him what, tell him what autoerotic I, I feel like I know. It's like one of those things where it's like, you tell me and I'll be like, oh yeah. But then, you know. There's such it's a morbid little... conversation. This it's not. It's like retards fucking... I have so little going on in their lives that they need to find a sexual high by pretty much choking themselves by depriving themselves of oh, oxygen yeah. and then jerking off. Ooh. Yeah, they basically hang themselves and masturbate essentially, but they do it in like a yeah, safe but way. Then, but then it's it's like you know you're supposed to not pass out, but if you pass out, then you can't undo the thing around your neck, so you die. It's a bit of a yeah. yeah. Sounds a bit risky, eh? It, well, yes, yeah. it is. That's, so that's why it, you need a spotter. Any fans? Well, the... actually, you should do it at all. But... Yeah, you you know the character in Hannibal, um, what's his name, Mason Verger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in, in in the books and the movie, he uh, sustained his uh, neck injury from autoerotic asphyxiation. Oh. <laughs> but in the TV show, Hannibal like oh, snaps his neck. Spoilers for Wait, anyone who's not seen the show yet. Mason Verger. Fucking TV Yeah, remember, okay. remember? No, he gets his eel no, fed to him. Down. No, 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 no. But how, how he becomes, his like, in the eel. wheelchair and everything. Oh, right. Remember? He, like, he cuts his face off and feeds it to his dogs. Remember, remember that scene? That was a yeah, great yeah, scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in, in, in the movies and the book, um, he it? basically... It's the same thing where he cuts his face off because Hannibal Lecter suggests him to it underway. Face off. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But then he, like... Face. Instead of like breaking his neck oh. from kind of like he sort of does it face. in oh. order of asphyxiation. Yes, Johnny, face off. I heard you. I heard the Where's the fucking off. last? Oh, yeah, now I know. Face yeah. off. That's a really good movie, too, actually. I love face off. Yeah, it's not a really good movie, but oh. it's fun. Is it with Nicholas fun. Cage? Yeah. It has Nicholas Cage and John Travolta. And Nicholas Cage? It's a, it's a fun romp. <laughs> romp? Niche. Only, only, yeah. only fags <laughs> say romp, Johnny. Oh. We don't, we don't use that term, Johnny. I mean, Angus. I said like Johnny that? instinctively, like, because it would be him. That's being... probably that's probably more offensive than what I've said, like, actually saying <laughs> only fags, you know. Like. Oh, no, but I'm referencing uh, the, the upcoming, you know, uh, marriage equality uh, vote that we're having here in Australia. Ah, uh, yes. Um, oh, you don't vote yes, don't lads. that yet? No, no, we don't. Exactly, I know. And I love it as so casual, because, like, from anyone with a developed country, it's like, what do you mean you don't have that? <laughs> Yeah, you know, like yeah, but there was exactly. there was like this very provocative like anti. Oh yeah, Andrew just put that on Facebook. Yeah, that, yeah, which was like oh. something. I forget what it said, but it was something along the lines of like fags. Yeah, put it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah. God hates fags. Yeah, God, yeah something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's. The Oh, uh, that's the Westboro Baptist Church. Uh, I don't think it was going guys. I don't think it no, was. No, no, I don't think so. It was it was uh, definitely like a poster for the upcoming debate, like the No campaign, like. I think it was like a, the Melbourne Catholic Church or something to do with the Church of Melbourne. <laughs> they're, they're just trying, everyone's always trying, every country's trying to rip off America when it comes to like being either offended or offensive, like with these stupid interest groups all the time. It's mm. like whenever there's like, you know, protesters rioting there, now every country wants to do that and stuff like that. And like, 
And of course, uh, Crystal Fisher won't divulge his opinion on gay marriage because it would uh, divide his fan base. No, correct? it wouldn't. I'm all for gay marriage. Don't say that. Fan base will uh, flee in droves. I don't no, give a fuck if my fa if the fan if any like any of the fan base is like, oh, fuck you for that. I don't give a shit. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, in general, I think it, it's probably best that. Well, the things I think. Um... I don't tend to like it much when people talk politics, but it can be pretty divisive. But the things like when I talk politics, I'm not divisive at all because I'm I I'm not at all like someone who's like with a certain camp on anything. I, I actually really sort of uh, reject the idea of like so. being with a being like in a camp of, of anything. That's right. So yeah, it's I not like I'm not an anti Trump this, guy. I remember seeing even, this I see this I remember seeing not... this really hilarious post like like and it's like and because I, I I'm kind of the same thing as I'm similar where it's like I'm not really affiliated to any party so to speak. And there's like someone that had did this post on 420 Chan that's basically like I'm a centrist because I don't have any because uh holding an inf holding like a holding a passionate opinion is for fucking retard <laughs> and like it's like it's like an insult on like centrists you know that like don't ever don't can't pick a side sort of thing but it's me it's meant to be tongue in cheek and like I'm I'm kind of like that like in a sense where I'm like sort of in the middle with yeah, a lot I of things the, but I think that's I think funny. The that can't is. pick a side thing is the most retarded thing I've ever heard. Of course, like, it's of always course it is. Of course hate. it is. Sometimes there is. It isn't just an A or B answer. Of course, like, like. Well, uh, sometimes it isn't. Well, I mean, it isn't. A, I mean, you can have. I have incredibly strong and sort of, uh, 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 you know, articulated opinions about a lot of things. I just don't jump to opinions or conclusions based on. Oh, I'm a left guy, so like now I have to hate these people, or yeah, I have yeah. to, you know, that sort of Honestly, bullshit. Honestly, like the, the, the thing is, though, I mean, and I'm sure you. Really I'm I'm like much. a socialist, but I'm not at all. Um, but but then, but I think kind of, you know, a lot yeah. of issues that socialist people are into, I'm not for it. I think climate, for example, global warming. Uh, there's way too much fuck fucking money and shit being wasted on that. I think animal protection, I think this is a fucking waste of time most of the time. Um, so that's like where I'm like, would be considered really right wing, for instance. But I, I but on the other end, I think everyone should have like free healthcare, free, really good education, etc, etc. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, I, 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 hate, I, agree. I, I hate war as well. I hate the ridiculous yeah, spending on military and yeah, stuff. Yeah, military budget. I'm not big for that either. And I say this with friends that are in the army. Like, I completely. Um, what do you think about the new super ministry going, Conley? The new well, super, if there were less money ministry. in the m military, they'd have other places to go, I'm sure. <clears throat> you, do you think that Peter Dutton should be the be all end all when it comes to homeland security? Thoughts, comments, opinions? Um. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna wave and say I'm not informed enough. Nor would anyone uh, in the chat be about Peter Dutton of all people. Uh, Heck, I don't even think people in this chat would even know who mm -hmm. Barnaby French is. But who's uh, Barnaby French? Exactly. Do you mean Barnaby Joyce? Oh yeah, wrong guy. No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Barnaby you French mean, was a football you mean... player. How? What is such a dude bro comment from me? Like you know, trying like trying to be like political, and then like yeah, I, I end up bringing up a, I think a football player. But yeah. You mean Barnaby from Hello, uh, Hello, 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 Hello Dolly? Was that? No, no, no. See, Barnaby Joyce is Barnaby Joyce. There's this hilarious thing going on in yeah, Australia he, right now. Yeah, he's New Zealander of the Year, I believe. Don't you reckon? No, that's that was that was a joke. That was a yeah, joke. I know, I know. But... I know. Oh, sorry. I thought you were like genuinely like serious about that. <laughs> he was voted New Zealander of the Year. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Um, Trolley Mouse would know about that. But but yeah, like, as I was saying, like there's a hilarious thing going on right now where like there's this weird like obscure part of our constitution that says yeah. So wait, 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 to even take it back just one step, this this is about Australian politics for anyone wondering, and this is like this is like an entry level story to the point where you don't have to worry about knowing the context, like you don't need to know about like who these people are. It's just how this happened is hilarious. Anyway, well, now you can I think explain I was getting it. to that. Point. Well, no, because well, you're just going to jump long. ahead. So I was not. I said there's a really obscure part of the Australian constitution that basically yeah. says for anyone to hold political You've already office. got me hooked here. Yo. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, I wasn't anyone... even being too sarcastic for, there. For anyone to hold political office, you need to only hold a citizenship of Australia. So if you're a dual and citizen... You, and you can't be a muggle. 
That's right, you can't be a muggle, <laughs> and Muggles you have bad. to enjoy the fact that there's no post on Sundays. Um, yeah. As I was saying, as I was saying, that, yes, and this lady called uh, Larissa Waters, who's a lefty commie senator, uh, was found to be a member of a citizen of some other country. I think it was like England or somewhere. And England the right city. wing, the Conservative Party, were all like, "Ha ha ha! She should check this before she got elected. She's an un <laughs> unduly elected <laughs> member." Of the parliament. <laughs> and then it came out that a bunch of the government people, people in the government, were also dual citizens. And now it's like this hilarious sort of thing game a game of like find the new one every week sort of thing basically like, every single day for like the last couple of weeks that someone has come out being like yeah they're all big fucking croatian distractions as well but like oh, everything is a fucking everything's a fucking witch hunt and everyone like even just regular people are constantly like like you know t taking part in it if whether it's that or whether it's like you know we need to expose people who are who have different, who have like offensive views. Like if, if someone said something racist once or like even, I see, I mean, but obviously white supremacists oh are goodness. fucking retards, right? But I don't believe that anyone should ever be fired for anything that's not illegal. Like holding a certain, you know, unorthodox viewpoint. Right. Because that's, but, first but of all, it's pretty unconstitutional and it's fucking, it's unconstitutional. We need to keep our guns and everything. <laughs> but, this, uh... Yeah. See, there's this guy but the, In Matt. America, they, they seem completely fucking fine. And they defend... I mean, regular fucking people who just constantly get exploited by corporations. They're actually... They're, they actually buy into the bullshit that a corporation should be allowed to just fire anyone. If they say something that, you know, they don't agree with, so to speak, even though they're not at all representing the company or anything. And that's sort of breeding the sort of fake public um, person, you know, sort of fake public opinions that people are having and sort of, you know, people being afraid to even speak their mind. And that, that even creates more tension because when people feel afraid to speak their mind, they're going to blame someone for that. And they're usually going right. to blame some minority group or whatever. And you know, go, you well, know, turn is... someone into a black sheep or whatever. Well, in this situation though, it's it's even like more ridiculous than that because there's okay. For instance, there's a guy called Matt Canavan who is like the minister for like I don't know something minerals or something, and his <laughs> his elderly elderly grandmother, or was it his mother? Elderly, some elderly. some senile old woman who lives with him. Without obtaining his consent, went to the it's like Manchurian candidate. That's how I sort of uh, <laughs> no, see no, no, but, well, possibly. But anyway, without his consent, she went to the Italian consulate and signed him up to have Italian dual Holy citizenship, shit. right? And like even put her address down as his residential mailing address, right? So like he didn't even know that she'd done this, and she didn't tell him that she'd done this, and this all came out like in this like recent witch hunt that's going on, and now he. Okay, so the Constitution basically says you can't have dual citizenship because it's a conflict of interest if you, like, you know, vote on policies that would, you know, benefit the other country you hold citizenship for. Like, that's the whole argument, right? But if a guy who's not even born in Italy, his parents aren't even from Italy, and he doesn't even know he has Italian citizenship, becomes a dual citizen unknowingly, is that really part of the logic of the constitutional, like point of view the argument of the constitution i understand like you know rules are rules but it, like that's something that's so just ridiculous to me yeah no, i agree you there i guess i'm here um, okay, i'm here okay, good. No, I'm, I'm here we, we, we just needed some, a moment of silence to let your um agreement sit you know just phrase is being a fucking sjw here <sighs> like he's saying like the problem if, is if someone says something racist and they work with a black person, the black person doesn't get to have a choice in the situation. Like, what does that even mean? They can... You can, like... Like, obviously, no, you don't have a choice to decide what the fuck another person thinks or what his views on something are. That's, that's just something that you have to live with as a person. You know, just like if there's a, a Black Panther guy, I, I completely... You know give them the right to hold that view as long as it doesn't affect the work environment as long as they're not doing anything illegal as long as they're not actually discriminating in a way where it um you know where they hold a power position over anyone 
But I think this that's is what like Fraser people, was saying. People is, at work, if if someone is like, if someone is if like, if they're in a power position over someone and they're actually, you know, racist or whatever, that's a different thing. That's that's not even the people that are being fired here, because you know, as you know, the fucking executives they never fucking do get fired anyway. Um, it's like we're talking like just Home Depot fucking laborers, pretty much. Or like just Joe fucking office schmo who doesn't have any hold any power over any but and and le that's the stupid thing if if then if they're not allowed to have if people in a power position aren't allowed to have their own uh, sort of views and opinions on things then how the fuck are they allowed to just fire anyone at will I think that's a much worse thing you know that's a much much bigger control and and sort of you know, a negative influence that you can have on someone's life to just take away their livelihood rather <laughs> than just... Threat. Yeah, rather than just... I mean, how is that not worse than um, than just having an opinion that you that doesn't sit with you? I think, yeah, but I, th I, I think there's a difference between, like, an opinion, you know, like, okay, I, I don't like this television show, I don't believe in this, and I hate N-word. You know, like I hate black people. Like it's like that's just it's just sort of dumb. Like and yeah, it's like and none if, you're of going, these, if you're going to be in a workplace and say that kind of by thing. By the way, yeah, but no one has said that. By the way, um, they, I think, they I think people in the chat that, are arguing you know, different things then, because I think that people in the chat are sort of saying like, well, no, about but that's the kind of words at that, work. That's the kind where, of like, words that they're exists. putting. That's the kind of words that they put into people's mouth. I'm talking about the stuff that's been going on with those um, white supremacist groups right? Uh, and the people who have been sort of outed who keep like getting witch hunted and get fired for um, sort of you know belonging to a certain or you know for choosing a certain uh, opinion to, to hold so to speak but those people that they're not protesting saying blacks are uh, inferior or anything actually that they're usually protesting that saying that they think that why people aren't getting, you know, they're they're getting sort of fucked over uh, in a in a lot of ways. You know, they they want more rights, you know, for for white people and all that shit. And you know, America first, all that stuff. I think a lot of it is obviously bullshit. Like I, I don't agree with it at all. But I think the last thing that I would want is for someone to get fired over uh, holding an opinion like that because. Uh, no, they're not dismissing anyone's fucking rights. They're, it's completely... Fraser saying they're dismissing other people's rights. That's that's not fucking what they're doing. They're, they're completely being constitutional. Uh, they're not... They're not... They're not taking away people's rights. And... Uh, I mean, they, they can... They can express the opinion that they feel like they should have fewer rights. But that's not actually infringing on anyone's rights, you know? Like, if anything, it's infringing on their rights of free speech if you're trying to stifle that. Um, it's an opinion, it's literally, yeah. Is that like the kind of thing? And I, and I think it's a weird slippery slope as well because sort of trying to, trying to, you know, end up with the violent, violent reactions to that from like, left groups and like um uh, and and with people getting fired and all that you're just going to create so much more tension from people who would otherwise not have been nearly as hateful you know if, if you just if you just let people at least be public and vocal about it rather than if there's some kind of guy who's actually in power to be discriminating and racist then there's nothing that you're fucking gonna do about it, especially if he's quiet about it. Um, yeah, I think that's the big difference too. Is is like is, is it better that they say they're racist the man, things the and you know they're racist? In, and like, by the way, if they, I mean, it's they hold it is not it is or... illegal to discriminate. Yeah, but exactly. But they're not that, doing that. True. They're not. So if if they did actually do that, it would be illegal, and then obviously they should be fired. Yeah, well, that's, I think that is the difference them holding the that's opinion not what and they're doing. saying the opinion, or holding the opinion and not saying the opinion. Like, is there a difference there? Does it really matter? You know. Uh, I think there's a, a difference there in the way that, 
a lot of opinions that people have and a lot of people like vocalizing um vocalizing their opinions uh, the 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 difference in that is that if they don't get to do that it creates a lot more tension that's the and like you know Fraser saying i really don't think people should be pressured into being more racist that's just a bunch of but no like that's the opposite of what you'd want is more hate that's the thing that they're creating that's the thing that people are doing now though they're, they're creating more hate that uh doing witch hunts against uh people who are you know of the other camp who say non-pc things and stuff like that and it really is not nearly you know they go against people who, who just say you know bill maher who said the word nigger even though it wasn't at all in a racist context you know they get fired stuff like that that's the sort of shit that people are hunting people for but also yeah belonging to um to p certain sort of political groups or you know social groups or whatever that you know isn't considered to be pc or whatever and the same goes for people who are actually against gay marriage i feel the complete same way about that that should have nothing to do with the company that's their fucking opinion and they should be allowed to have that and it you know apparently more people don't have that opinion and you know apparently it's considered to be constitutional now that gays are allowed to ma marry and i completely agree with that but yeah I, like the last thing that i would want is for someone to not be able to have that opinion or to be fired for having that opinion oh especially if you can't change the opinion as well like i mean people are you saying basically, oh, you know, someone who hates gays can never be considered to be like convinced otherwise? Can basically never ever hold a job ever because they don't you know, agree with like the public consensus? I don't know. Unless, for example, they unless then just unless they would join a fucking company that would publicly hold that view, <laughs> and which that's is never gonna and, happen, and, right? No, that's never gonna happen, and no, that's work. why. Go to Chick Fil A. That's why a corporation, a company, etc should be a completely separate thing from politics from pol from political views that you hold people shouldn't be going to f their fucking mcdonald's going oh well i'll only fucking you know they shouldn't think of, they should buy whatever they think is the best product and that's fucking it they shouldn't be thinking like oh but there, there was a girl guy who worked there who who hated gays so now i'm not gonna buy shit from them anymore you know, like, people should fucking stop with that sort of witch hunty type bullshit anyway, because that is the thing that's creating a lot of hate. People just constantly wanting to handpack at each other because they need to feel, like, validated in some way by bringing other people down. It has nothing to do with really trying to really go for fucking justice or whatever in the end. It's just because, yeah, because they themselves don't feel fucking validated enough and unfortunately fucking corporations listen to that um which you can hardly i mean you can you can't blame the corporations because you know that the general culture now is that people will get so fucking publicly riled up and get so many people involved on twitter and everything basically you know uh giving the company a bad name and that will hurt the company so then you can't blame them for that but i think and that's why i think they should have uh, just laws in place like they do in the Netherlands, like they do in, at least in Scandinavia. That's everywhere. You you have so many rights as an employee here that you could absolutely not be fired over something like that. It's really hard to get fired here if your work performance is completely up to snuff, which is of yeah, course actually, we, we no, have a that's similar thing here thing. too. Like I mean, you, enterprise you bargaining agreements and everything build time. that into the. Right uh, the award, the, you know, the um, rights of the employees. I mean, I know several people I've worked with who hold very, very, very sort of um, d uh, disagreeable opinions, opinions I would not personally agree with, but, you know, they're not going to get fired because of that. I mean, they're just middle-tier employees anyway. They're not, like, CEOs or anything, but, you know, there's, no one's going to stop them from holding those opinions. I think, I think yeah, it's just, and, you know, it's the same debate we always have, is it like, as long as you can hold an opinion, as long as you don't really try and, like, push it onto someone else and don't get too, don't get violent as a, you know, cause of it. Don't get, yeah, don't get violent. Well, don't, yeah, don't let it, don't infringe on other people's rights. 
that yes. test, basically. And and I think I think the interesting thing, uh, the thing we should also say is like I I personally I do not, you know those those um the the riots in Charlottesville a couple of weeks ago, you know, with the, with the um uh the white supremacists. I in no way condone. I think they they were that was a vile, a horrible thing for them to do. You know, I think it's absolutely disgusting that they did that. And I, you know, I can't. But they should be allowed to do it still. What? F kill, mo like, a, get violent, and that kind of thing. No, not you violent. Should... No, not the violent stuff. Should... That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying that. Is was this horrible. about the guy who ran over someone or something? Well, that too. Him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, then, why are you I'll... saying they now? Why are you now getting all of them uh, involved with that? That that was a lone man. Oh no, no, but th there was. There was, uh, you know, those. Uh, there were people that were. There were them people that were like celebrating her death, like on the streets, I, I believe, or something like that. Right. Like, well, that that's obviously a despicable thing to do as well. Which, again, that but that again should be should be legal technically. Um, no, if you if you're talking about actual violence, which by the way, fuck if you want to talk about violence, it's the Antifa type of guys who constantly. It's so fucking ironic how fascist those people are because they keep turning up on whenever someone wants to give a speech they come come there you know with masks fucking you know cowardly uh, don't even want to show their faces and they come and fucking disturb uh, the free speech that's going on there so like how are they not fascist they're literally using violence to stifle people who don't hold the same views uh, they pepper spray people they punch people in the face they <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't, I don't agree with that either. Yeah, I, I'm on the uh, but side yeah, this of the... this one this 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 guy who who ran over people. Obviously, uh, I've heard like arguments where it was like you know they were storming his truck and they were trying to to get him out of the truck, so he had nowhere to go. You know, that's all he had. That's obviously fucking bullshit. The guy's a fucking piece of shit, and he should be tried as a as a criminal, yeah, a murderer, a yeah. murderer. Yeah, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Like, did was it on purpose? Yeah, I believe that so. He actually you believe so. Killed? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, then it's for murder, obviously, and that's completely correct. And that's the sort of shit that shouldn't go on. Um, but you know that that's the sort of stuff that's that will happen when when you don't you know when you don't let people you know do their peaceful protests. Like the, 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 this constant fucking conflict between uh, my camp and their camp. So, uh, Monster Zinc. <laughs> so I say we'd load that one up. So because people, uh, you this know, I looks get, like bugs. This reminds again. me of Bugs Life with the Travelers. Wait, tank. People, are you just are you, are you derailing a conversation we're having here? I am derailing it. Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, just no, gotta I just got to say that. No, I, I think we said. I, I don't think there's yeah, anything more to say. Like I think it's one no, of those no, things where it's we've... like, it's like, I. Mo I like I yeah I I just want to be clear about the fact that I'm not at all right wing, and I'm probably like if I were to be you know put into a in, into a box so to speak, um, I would be much more considered left wing than uh, than than even centre on on many ways. So you know yeah as, long as, as am I as would I yeah get... I would be more more and oh that's an amazing intro graphic there. Um, I love how like we just so like missed like any kind of discussion on like the end of Toy Story 2 and everything. Like, well, I couldn't get in there, so I thought we'd. I thought I'd, we'd well, you could have. Sorry, you know, you know how it is. Like when you talk, when when you get into that sort of stuff, and then I say stuff where I think like, oh, that could really be misconstrued. So I feel like I need to clarify myself. I, see. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to sound like a massive like. Oh, I don't like talking about popular things. But it, sometimes it's just it's, it, it's such a nuanced discussion that it, I almost think that we do it a disservice by talking about it during like this gameplay. Yeah, it's like it's almost like it's like it's so it's like so tonally yeah, general, different. Like, it's so tonally different. Is probably a good idea to keep out of it. I just yeah, I just want people to stop hating. Welcome to the monster. I think yeah, I think that. You know, in in terms of like, in t yeah, in terms in terms of the, that whole situation, like, yeah, I, I I think that there is a danger to saying like, 
on both sides, like saying like, oh, it's equally like the, because like that's what that there's a bit of a narrative like where it's like people have said like there are problems on both sides, and, and look, I, I do agree that yeah, oh, you're right, there are definitely problems on the SJW side for sure, absolutely, but like there's also I think that the, I think that equating like you know some some of the more moderate like SJW stuff like where they sort of like oh you can't be like that too like actual Nazis, you know that's I don't think it's fair to put the paint them with the same brush essentially but the people at the antifa i think you stuff can like... paint them as the same brush because they're both humans you know and that's the whole problem is that people paint people with different brushes just because they belong to a certain uh ideological group that that's where you start but, to but why does why, why that's does, where you but, start to become separatist that's, that's, that's true but, but but who who does that first the people that literally say that one race is superior or the people that denounce those people that, that don't want one race to be superior you know like or, or view them as superior I well guess that... I, I don't i don't think that they should be um i think that the way in which they do it is infringing on their rights or is like you know it's like going with actual hate then what they could do is to just literally fucking ignore the people um who don't actually have any power over it in the first place right you know, like, if they're, they're these stupid fucking uh, um, white supremacists, they're not actually going to have any influence on the way your life or anyone's life is led if you just um, well, let except them for the person that was killed, life. of course. Well, would they? Would that have happened if they hadn't tried to intervene with them? I, well, I don't. I think it was unprovoked. I, I'm. Pretty, this is again like we. You, I don't think we can really talk about it without the full knowledge of it, because then it becomes like a guess guesstimate. Like, oh, was this person? No, like no. This? I'm saying that wouldn't have happened if there weren't already a conflict. You know, where people were trying to, you know, keep them from doing their protest. And again, that's not victim blaming. Um, I, I'm, ju I'm just saying that if you had just let them do their stupid thing, that would have been it. Whereas now you're just creating more hate from from both sides right. by trying to, by going into conflict with these stupid little extremist groups. By the way, the same there, thing as guess... people denouncing. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening. I'm listening okay. intently. Okay, good. Okay, because I, I was listening uh, before as well. So yeah, I, just I, 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 whole, I wholeheartedly uh, agree that this, uh, this is getting quite, quite out of hand. Not Oof. what Johnny's saying, but like, not what Johnny's saying. The, um, the, the situation. The length. Oh, the situation yeah, itself. Oh, oh, you mean the situation? Yeah, the, yeah, the situation. Yeah, yeah. Not what Johnny's saying. Yeah. yeah no, just, I agree just, that the situation. I, yeah. I'm just. It's just funny because I just can't like. I, I, there's no end to it. You know, it's not. It's God. never gonna end. I We're would... gonna have. People, and this is the most obvious statement of the century, but it's just there'll be there'll be something else to disagree on, you know. People Race. Need, yeah, people, there's so many distractions from the important things that that keep people from having sort of peace you know, of mind. And if if people had more peace of mind and everything, and if they felt that their taxes were being spent better, if they weren't constantly at war with fucking, if they weren't constantly persuaded to hate Islam and stuff like that. Oh, uh, you know, just like, that's the other thing too: religious hatred and I mean. Okay, so you could have, you know, people hate, you know, there's, there's too many things for people to hate on, yeah. you know? I just, I'm just, yeah, I'm I know. Just, I'm sick of And it's all distracting from Lucha stuff like economy. In, yeah. You know, in the future, in the future, right, we're going to have, like, cyborg implants, right? And there'll be, like, extremist groups who say we should have them and extremist groups who say we yeah, shouldn't have black, them. Black you know? Mirror. It, yeah. It's like, it's like, they'll, they'll, no, they'll be... No, uh, it's Deus Ex. Deus Ex. So, oh, yeah, 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 the game, yeah. You know, it, it'll, it'll just keep going. It'll keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. And I had this, I was sitting on the train today and I, I just had this, you know, when you ever get those thoughts where you're like, you know, I'll be dead in, in roughly, you know, Two years. 60 to 80 years, right? Yeah. And and when I'm, when I'm dead, the world will keep spinning, keep turning. I, I might leave a mark on it, sure, but fundamentally at its heart, nothing will change um, as of my, my existence, you know, the on a whole, on a macro level. Thing. On a macro level, it'll keep going, you know. And we've had the Israel-Palestine thing that's been going yeah. on for two thousand years, you know. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Never My mum always says there that, is, like they've always been fighting. They'll always there be is fighting. No end, yeah. There is no way to that. That's part of the human condition. Is hate? Hate is part of the human condition. I know. I know that's yeah, a really, I think really it's, downtrodden I think it's thing worse to say. Now, when where people with mass media, it's much easier to sort of 
not only distract people but weirdly um, indoctrinate people, so so to speak. Like oh yeah, yeah. And, as, and it's as, dist- we, as diverse as we become more and more diverse as a as a society, and and that there will be more and more things to hate. Right? They'll just it'll just keep going. Like. It will never stop. Yeah, it but it, stop. it, it didn't used to be. It, it never used to be this bad, I suppose, because people had other things to focus on because they weren't just constantly because corporations weren't taking away their every fucking last dollar and pension and everything to where they now need to. And and you know people weren't being distracted as much with fucking twenty four hour per day media saying this is another fucking thing that's. That's happening, and you should be outraged about this. You know? That's right. You know, you have but, Pauline Hanson show up in Australia, in like in the Senate, wearing a burqa, right? Oh. Okay, that's just a relatively sort of like, oh, you know, she's making a fool of herself. By the way, this level is shit anyway, so we can. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not talking about yeah, Monsters so. Inc. until we get to the actual levels. Then, as soon as yeah. this level is done, we're 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 talking well, about the Well, it has to. It will have to. It will have to be a natural segue. I'm not gonna. Well, you know. okay. Don't worry. I'll find a way of making it natural. I, I highly doubt that. Anyway, so oh, you know, it's like it's like you know, you okay. So there was the religion debate, right? That that was like the fir- one of the first things that people started like finding a disagreement on. You know, oh, I believe there's a Jesus. I don't think there's a Jesus. You know, oh dear, let's hate each other because of this. Okay, that was the first thing, right? Very very like microscopic. It started out that way, right? But then then you add on race. You know, you add on sexual orientation. Okay, and then very soon you get to the point we're at now where you slowly slap on all these things to diverse each other about, and suddenly it's got to the stage where it's you can't undo it now. It's it's <laughs> embedded, it's embedded in society. Well, the thing is, I think you can undo it. You could undo it if people were more comfortable in general with their lives. You know, if they didn't feel nearly as fucking stressed out as they are, if they didn't feel nearly as screwed over by everyone. Uh, you know, and which I think, in a lot of ways, is is you know, the whole you know inequality, the whole one percent type thing. That's that's sort of really fucking with society. I think is that uh, rich people keep getting richer and um, and and poor people keep getting sort of exploited, and and then, you know, what rich people do is is try to make distractions about that so that you know that the political movements aren't sort of focusing on that because like in 2012 or something the biggest concern of the people in america was the economy and then some fucking uh isis thing happened and all of a sudden that got pushed to the front again and the government couldn't be fucking happier they fucking love that because now they get to ask more taxes for uh government owned projects by the way which is military stuff that's the fourth the forefront of scientific technology and it's owned by the government so they can you know do what the fuck they want with it and they could sell it as well and they get to spend the money in secret as well they don't even have to you know tell everyone exactly how they've been spending everyone's tax dollars because you know there's you know that that's state secret you know you can't just tell everyone what you've been doing in terms of making weaponry and stuff like that so and of course they they love waging war because they still keep get to keep making you know the middle east sort of uh, an underdeveloped nation by by keeping com- conflict what there. was what was a big business johnny as you know it's a big war business a booming one. business lots not really Absolutely. unfortunately that's what america learned in uh, world war Two, and they they haven't been able to stop it since they so what that was going to do first, by the way, <laughs> the city park, city centre, marketplace, or docks. I um, I think I always started at uh, the city park. parks. Always the yeah, the, the that's, the, that's the first level. I wonder, are you going to do the skip though? I, I want to do the skip. Are you going to? Do you? Okay. Oh, wait, can you? What, do it with did Mike? you say that with like? Did you do that like as with? Wait, a, can you? Do oh the yeah, skip try it. Try it. I feel like I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Shit. Oh shit! Oh, sorry. Did it, did I say that the Middle East was a nation? I don't. I, you know. You know what I mean, though. <laughs> it's a series. Well, the Middle East is actually in Asia. I didn't know that. I mean, sorry. I, I didn't know, know that. that. I, I said I did. I meant to say I did know that. Did you know that? Was what I was meant to say. Uh, it's it's like two at the clock in the morning. It's late. It's getting late. Don't worry. No, it's... I won't. 
It's okay, really, really I, ca early. I can't fucking beat this. I can't. I, I think you can only do the glitch with Sally. Um, so Did you I just, choose Sally? No, I picked uh, Mike. No. So I will. Is I, there any uh, Monsters Inc. aficionado? Uh, um, you know, talking about. You know, talking about. Oh. Uh, Conley, WWE, you know, no, WCW no, no, for life is in here. Oh my god, what do you oh, think about that? Oh no, don't. Oh, you know, me. Oh, yeah, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. He he hates the young bucks, but uh, <gasps> you know, he hates he hates he hates everything that is not WWE. But he also hates WWE. So it's fair enough. But what no, WCW, say, does he, like WCW? he likes WCW. Um, all right. Let me, now, what were you gonna say? Have we got any experts of Monsters Inc? Is that what you said? Yeah, about um, <clears throat> who know maybe if there's a glitch with the jumping for Mike. I um, reckon it, the thing is, I, I, the reason I, by the way, why I don't I think, think there is, is because of the way in which they jump. Like, it's like, yeah, it's like Mike has his fast. I, I watched your entire retrospective let's yeah. play of this and you were so, you were so um, in love with antagonistic to the, uh, to, to, uh, Mike, yeah. Yeah, I was. He's just like, fuck this guy. Oh, fuck Mike. <laughs> but you're uh, a Mike yeah, fan. Oh, I like Mike. Ru Ruboid yeah. is saying that there's something crisp and cute about the PS1 Texas. Yeah, I, th I think it looks way better than the PS2. Version. Oh, the oh PS2 yeah. Looks Remember, you did the LP, but, uh, Angus. You did, you I did, did you I did, did do the did LP. Yeah, I'm, I'm think, I'll am i probably end up streaming the PS2 version as well so we can like, compare it. That'd be, that'd be cool. Because I don't want to LP it because it's sort of a bit Watch cheap for me out. to do that. Um, yeah. See you later, Mew Mew Mew. See ya, bruh. Ciao. Okay. I didn't even know they were here, but They're goodbye. In the chat, brother. Uh, now, as, as everyone knows my story about playing this at the, uh, the library. I had to go up to the library. Everybody and knows. And All 42 people great, watching right now. It's a good story. You, have to, you used to go to the public library quite a lot to get, like, books out and shit, and you could buy DVDs or rent DVDs there. And They had, like, a, a games corner where they had the oh, latest technology. Yeah. Yeah. They had a PlayStation 1 set up there, and you had to go up to the librarian, and she had a little <laughs> book there, and he said, Oh, could I please rent out 30 minutes of time between 2 and 2.30? And she'd say, oh, okay, let me check, and the book was free, and then you picked what game you wanted to play. There was only like 10 games there, and uh, you used to pop it in. You could play it for half an hour, so I didn't really get that far in this game. And there was no memory uh -huh. card either, so I, I had to start you, only, you, had, you, had a, you had a quota, did you? Yeah, you, you only had a quota you could play in for, because like, the other kids wanted to play. Trolley Mouse Trolley is Mouse saying, gonna how, say. I don't think he's how would you this. even fuck Mike? He's an eyeball. So that's why you don't like him, uh, Andrew. Yeah. Because you can't sure. fuck him. No. Nah. I think it's his mouth is a bit, he's a bit toothy, but uh, you could probably fuck his mouth. He has no sexual organs either, unless they're like inside him. Ooh. No, so there is horns. Boy. His horn. He jizzes out of his horns. <laughs> Jeff you know what? I think the Disney movies fail to ever show how cow their characters reproduce. You know, like cars, for instance. Like, can, can someone so explain true. to me that's how, actually, you how, know, that's such a good point. Like, to be honest, it I bothers feel. me about cars, right? Because like, they, they, how do they exist? Like, wait, that's like, any who manufactures that's any... the cars. That's any Dude, fucking. We don't see humans in cars. Exactly. Isn't that any cartoon that has inanimate objects talking, except for Beauty and the Beast, actually? No, no, no. That... I just assume they're sentient or something. Not like Beauty actually... and the Beast actually has like. Wait, what do you mean? I just assume they're sentient, not actually. Because what are you saying? Does the car? Do the cars movies have like children that yes, that are they like? Do. They do yeah, but do they have actual? Do they have actual like? parents with a child in there i believe so yes they do actually there's they, they do oh, well it's a shit movie anyway what movie what movie cars it has mother cars and like for instance isn't Does it? like oh, one yeah. Of the... yeah 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 you're right you're right you're right it does it's so, like but it's then like are so they quick. like all the same are they is how do they do they have like some some uh Makes conglomeration me. of two makes of two like brands. Well, there's pl sort of exactly there's cars. plenty of brands, and the third one, like basically, goes into like it's all about like hybrid cars and like sort of like m the new technology. Like like for example, there's like generations, much like there is cars in real life. Like there's the 70s classic sort of cars, 80s, 90s, Dodge 2000s. Yeah, Muscle yeah, cars. exactly. But they so, get old, right? Because Doc Doc, what's his name? Is oh, like an old tragic. car. He died. I never, I yeah. never saw any. Yeah, I guess I. I really was 
I was never at all into the Cars movies. Like, yeah, I, I they're the worst. I, they're, they're the worst of the um, the Pixar. I didn't movies. like. No, I, I, I didn't like, like the Cars whole 3. idea of the characters even. <coughs> Oh, Nick Cromer's, uh, you got to read his message. I have, I have. I, I, I'll read it out. I, I responded to him while oh, you were talking, yes. but, I, but yes, thank you, Nick. Um, longest, one of the long, yeah, it's all, I always appreciate, like, people that have, like, stuck around for ages, because I, I recognize pretty much every, like, username that is commented that's been from, like, the old days. Yeah, you are pretty good at the usernames. Yeah. You know, we should say, uh, everyone post what year you started watching Crystal Fissure in the thread. Let's, you know, let's see that's what... A, that's a good sort of like very general almost ratchet five-esque sort of comment you know like you know that you know andrew you know how johnny criticizes like, jokingly um ratchet about like sort of asking like quite like just standard questions to like move a conversation <laughs> forward that's like such oh, a like, yeah, classic yeah. stream he has like a li- yeah he has a list of let's play questions uh, you know, <laughs> i have no problem with that i, I uh... i'd be very interested to see what years people started watching you um i personally started in 2010 uh, yeah, watching you? that's true. Actually, yeah. I mean, does that? Yeah. And uh, Johnny, when did you start? I think I've told this before, yeah. but like, um, I've never heard this story. Oh, well, yeah. What was it? Was it 2013? When no, did we I start think it was late. 2013. No, I think. No, it was late 2012, right? And my PC was completely on the on the threads, so I couldn't start it. And I had this um, live disc. It was like. Some, some something with magic, some kind of some, basically just something burned onto a CD ROM that you could pop into your PC, and and it that was an operation system sort of built into it. So and that that would download to your RAM, and you could start your PC off of that. So instead of Windows, you had like this sort of temporary Linux-based operating system, and there was not much that you could do with it. But I could just about sort of watch. YouTube. sort of half laggily I could watch some YouTube as I was because I was too lazy to because basically one of my hard drives had broken down and I needed to move the files over to a different hard drive and I was like too lazy to do that still so I'm just for a few days I was just watching a few YouTube things and I, I got onto the uh, Bugs Life part Let's of um, yeah and I think I could I, I must have been playing it as well then or maybe, I, you know, maybe it was before that. I, I watched most of your um, Bugs Life Let's Play whilst I, was, whilst I had that, but maybe I'd actually seen the first part before that because I was playing Bugs Life and I was in the second city level, City Square, and oh, yep. there was one enemy right. that I could f- not for the life of me find, which of course was due to the fucking draw distance. And... Um, so I, I looked up a, a let's play for that just to try to find the uh, the enemy, and yeah, I got into a part where it was you, Angus, and um, and uh, Crystal Fissure, mm-hmm. and I was like instantly I thought like, oh this this guy's got a cool voice. I like his voice. <coughs> and, not uh, me, of course. You were referring to no, I was saying obviously him, not me. Yeah, I was talking. I, I was talking about uh, uh, Crystal Fissure there, but. Um, no, but I thought you were quite funny as well, uh, and like, and so I was basically hooked, hooked right away because, like, and you were talking about like, see, I thought these were all like real. I thought you were real life friends, uh, who just yeah, like after people, school. Funnily like, enough, we had if, if this if this LP was filmed in 2011, we had not met. But yet. That's right. We we, we had, had not met. met. In we fact, met, we only known we each other in... for even like a less than a year. Well, yeah, it was the I... one that. Like at yeah, the God. time you just at the time that I saw it, you had just started your Toy Story, or you were in, in the middle of your to- Toy Story two Let's Play. Yeah, um, that's pretty early on actually when I knew you because I believe I only knew of you are uh, a retrofied stream actually. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I didn't know you before that. <laughs> Ye old streams. Yeah, well, funnily we'll enough, like such a bad quality, like barely even competent stream, like two forty p. And like now it's like how far we've come with like this streaming now, like it's sort of crazy. To think that, that that stream, like a stream, you know, made it all sort of happen. Was really. it Croc? Now we're streaming. Get no, I, what was the game? It was Muppet Monster Adventure, wasn't it? The game that I was in, yeah, I was Muppet Monster Adventure. I went to bed, I woke up and he was still streaming and that's what like that's blew true. me away. I was just like, well, wow. I went to bed too and I woke up and he was still streaming. And I, I remember, remember like Al was there, bed. wasn't he? Like Lucar 44 and... Yeah, John was there too. But I remember you pointed out. Yeah, you just out sort of. 
that yeah. um, that you like that you pointed out to Ratchet. I was like, oh, Nintendo Gen's still here, you know? Yeah, that's right. I think if you didn't point, if you didn't mention <clears throat> my name in it, because like, then I added you on um, Skype like soon after. It's that. just an ego thing for you, was it? You know, just it was. You know. It was just an ego thing. Well, I mean, I, I well with remember... with me it was like with me it was just a a bold move, you know? Well, <laughs> like it was uh, yeah, a bold move, like, really. The thing I was saying, um, uh, yeah, the the calm voice and all that. Was, yeah, Safrica. Yeah, nice. no, I, I, and I, and I'm, I remember Safrica. Like, I remember the fact that you were a 2013 viewer, like viewer. I know it sounds really. Yeah, weird. like, and because in that city part, you also had like a bit of an echo or something. Like, you were yeah. sort of f further away from the, the stupid mic, from the mic yeah. a bit or something. Yeah. And, uh, and, um. And like at some point you were talking about Dazzy as well, I think, and <laughs> I thought there was also just oh no, I thought thought you were talking about like just random like YouTubers that were well known or something, and like these YouTubers that That's were raging thing. about. I th maybe it was a different YouTuber actually, but like someone who was raging at um at some fucking uh, some some game that they played, but they kept fucking they kept uh, raging and um. Well, fuck, I've sort of lost my string of <laughs> with that one. But like, but also, Angus was like the resident wikier, and he was like looking up all the voice actors for... for all <laughs> I, re I remember that. I do remember that. Um, that, that was, yeah, because I was, I was in so many of your Let's Play parts back in those days. Yeah. It's like, so funny like... to see how much hate as well you actually get years later. Like, I'll go and like videos like i'll get like comments new and like this fucking nintendo gen 64 guy so distracting all he ever does is talk about something else you know like it's, it's actually it's quite funny like the, yeah so yeah exactly I, I, nick well, i remember when your name was josh i there. feel like he was fine in the bug life oh bug life stuff was fine people getting annoyed in the spyro stuff because the spyro is like quote unquote my quintessential viewing you know like in terms of like from like the people the, the, from the in terms of the you know um I don't know, not casual perspective, but yeah, like I understand why that is popular. Um, well, yeah, people don't like see you later, much. I think I think the thing is with, with my, um, like you know, remember the death angle with with Carol, right? People yeah. bought that I would be the kind of guy who'd do that. You know, yeah. people thought. Pe I think oh, people it's really I bought it. it yeah. I can be a massive prick, you know. So they, they see the the weird thing is you you do all these trolley things that people seem to hate you for, but I say like outlandish sometimes outlandishly racist stuff which is also like <laughs> you know joking but but somehow that re that that registers somehow better with most people like literally the two people who have commented well okay at least i mean two of the people who commented most on my videos and sort of been the most diligent watchers are black whereas i'm like <laughs> constantly make black jokes you know like the most heinous racial jokes and remarks but um yeah i guess that it's sort of a good thing i guess it sort of shows that people can look past that whereas they seem to look get like pretty upset racism. oh well not look past it but look but but they can sort of realize that it's all in jest and all that you know yeah. like not everyone gets offended over everything apparently so it's not as bad as as all that, I suppose. But, um, oh, you're doing the glitch. Yes. The endless jump. Uh, yeah, glitch. it doesn't work. I, 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 gee, this stream is. I saw you do it behind. once. Uh, yeah, I forgot how to do it. I forgot what, where you got to do it. I forgot where. You know, but, one, but day, so one day I got. The way I, I just wanted to quickly say the way I, uh, actually ended up. Uh, um, Finding me. You know, talking to. And, yeah, yeah. I was like, so I, I, I just. For some reason. I felt like sending a message saying, "Hey, I've got this suggestion of a game for you, Hydro Thunder," and uh, and I, you know, I wouldn't mind co-commentating on it. And he just randomly went along with it, and uh, I remember and we, this. I remember this. And and so we ended up talking also, and like right away, like from the first session, we were talking like two hours, like even without recording, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like. So, so it was sort of obvious that you know there was enough chemistry there to uh, to not just keep it at a one-time thing. <coughs> Nitro. I <laughs> see. I remember most of my first encounters with you, Johnny, were like 
in mostly like group chats discussions as well like like one of the first times i spoke to you ever was when we were talking to uh uh Ma- max gruber and ratchet five about like you know ho- hom- issues of homosexuality and that kind of thing well, no, that, okay, that, that, sounds a bit, that sounds a bit abusive like no no not... it does it's, it, the context is really hard to explain for anyone listening i remember I say, real, real, quick, real, quick, real quick real quick i'm only using the word quintessential uh in reference to a h3h3 H3 video just before you say it's a garbage word like i, I don't really use it in my everyday use life the, i've never used it that's the second time i've ever I've used heard, it in this conversation no. I, I have i would never I've use quintessential it, i would say essential i've i've said it twice in this stream and that's it I, I don't yeah, think I've ever it. uttered the word. I don't think I've ever uttered quintessential. Oh, okay. It's his mum's favorite essential. game. <laughs> when you do Mad Berry impressions, you say quintessential. Mad Berry? I don't think so. Oh, quint- I thought yeah, you did. You said it just before we did this call. That's what I'm saying. Said- That's what I'm saying. I said today. Today is the first time like I've used it in, in light of the... Yes, guys. They, they really are like a married couple. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> except, except they have sex more frequently. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, what were we saying before that again? Oh yes. Anyway, we were in a group chat, and like I, I, because I, Johnny and I rarely spoke one on one back then, like hardly ever. Like, and well, I, I was I pretty quickly made sure to get you on as a, uh, as a co-commentator though. I, I, I sort of, I asked you to be a co-commentator on on some of my stuff because I thought, yeah, your voice was funny and just <laughs> the way. No, it's not just the mean. voice. Just the whole way, the whole way you you speak, the whole weird. Oh, that doesn't help things, Johnny. That my dad says things. the same thing, actually. What like, because he, 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 he just goes angry. Like, my parents just like adore Angus. Like, it's so funny. It's like, oh, I just, we just love Angus. He's just, he's just got such an interesting way of speaking. And he's just such an interesting guy. He's a genuine guy. That's what they say. He's such a genuine bloke. You can have such oh. an easy conversation with him. Yeah. That's true. I don't, I don't hide my. And then, and then, and then it's funny. Like, and then I compare my relationship to uh, Andrew's. Uh, um, Angus's right. dad, and I remember the, probably one of the defining right. conversations we ever had was when he was telling him, me and Angus off for allowing a party There's to happen nothing. within his house that wasn't even <laughs> our fault. And just sorry, my like, dad snapped at you, like he's actually been fully like mad at Yeah, he's at been you. full on mad at me, yeah. Which is, it's so funny like in comparison to like my parents, but I mean your dad gets along with me. I, I love your dad, like he's a, he's a legend. But I, I think that's a right of passage. Like, you you have to like, I you want to meet be, that like, dad. I want to, I want to, <laughs> tell me about your dad, now think about your dad. <laughs> Damn, so oh, close. Tabri said he sent you a glitch. Oh, I'll check that out. On oh, Twitter, you go on Twitter. On Twitter, uh, yeah, I'll check on Twitter, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 if it's Ratchet and Clank, like, I'm not too familiar with Ratchet and Clank glitches, actually, that's one thing. And actually, they, you asked before as well about a secret Ratchet and Clank. I own that game, but I've, I've only played, like, the first few levels. Um, unfortunately, hey, unfortunately. hey guys, who, who, who's gonna win the fight tomorrow against uh, oh god, uh, Mercury friend uh, and Floyd Money Mayweather? Fuck that shit! I got, what is I got my money on glitching that you're doing, man. You're, you're exploiting the whole game. You're destroying the nostalgia. Yeah, I'm a piece of shit. I got, I got Mayweather. Is I reckon Mayweather. Fucking wrestling. Oh, boxing. May with it. No, no, boxing and MMA. Oh, I'm, I'm a hundred percent. Like this, this is gonna MMA shock. Is this is. I'm sorry, Johnny. We have to talk about this. This is important. I, I, um, it's funny. Like, uh, everyone's probably gonna think that you know, like the whole because I like prefer MMA to boxing. Um, that I would be like rooting for Con- Conor McGregor, but I actually fucking hate that guy. And like, just before I left with, um, just before I left, uh, like, fi- um. Uh, the Netherlands uh, when I was with Al I almost we almost got into like I, we almost came to we almost came to he blows over like an I, I was like trying I was basically telling Al that I thought that McGregor was a fucking dickhead and like <laughs> and like and like he's like because you know because it's and now this is going to sound very controversial but See, it seems this type like of shits get fueled by reddit stuff as well though no That's, this is the problem I, I have with Conor McGregor and like the Irish fans is people take disliking conor mcgregor as a slight against the irish like i just don't like him because i think he's a tool yeah, you know like it's not because yeah, he's so irish, it's got like... nothing to do with your hatred of the irish <laughs> at, at all yeah you know, hey hey do you irish, think he's an o tool oh. <laughs> are so you got mayweather to win I, I hope mayweather absolutely destroys him in, in inside of a second 
I hope it's over yeah, in five. I might go to a, I, I might go to a you know pub tomorrow I, and watch I don't hope fucking shit because I don't know the guys and who the fuck is the shit who beats the other one up. Well, you don't, you don't care about sports at all, so it's like, it's like, that's from maybe a perspective can, of maybe sports is pointless. Uh, yeah, but like, that's not a thing where like, oh, uh, you know, sports is not for me. That's, that's not like sort of the way that I look at it. It's just a, it's just a general sort of reasoning that I have about it. Like, it, it's not that I hate it because it's a sport. It's like, you know, why am I going to root for some guy for two guys with with you know imminent CTE, the sort of uh, <laughs> to 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 whack each other in the face a bit more, like like some fucking. Well, you know, like Mayweather is retiring after the match anyway, True. so that, that, that's going to be something, right? He won't be whacked in the head anymore. No more, match. no more wax. Yeah, but you know, just watch his brain turn to mush in the next few years. I don't know. He seems a bit more with it than yeah, Ali than was. Ali was yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was gonna, I but um, I think they fight a yeah, lot less. Like they don't fight as frequently. No, it, it, as you fight. know what? Like for for all of the criticism about like combat sports, it is far less like quote unquote barbaric than it used to be. Um, yeah, but I'm, it's still inherently. It is inherently yeah. barbaric. Yes. Yeah, you you're right. Inherent, uh, inherently. I mean, there's it's no up. there's no real there's no I don't really see an inspiring. There's nothing inspirational or or. Uh, the only thing it inspires, really, it's not sort of like, uh, you know, with most art, art things or creative things, you know, that I that I could consider myself a fan of. It can be inspiring or stimulating in a certain positive way. Whereas with that sort of shit, it's like the only way it seems, the only thing that it seems to inspire is for people to get some kind of uh, a pack mentality and sort of hate on the on one guy or one supporting team of one another and that sort of feel makes them feel nice and riled up or you know patriotic or whatever and i just don't see any merit in that i guess thoughts what uh well i mean sure whatever it's boxing who cares, who cares? like yeah exactly I, <laughs> yeah. I feel, yeah it's like the way i look at it right is that i think the... it's when people actually get riled up about it though that's that's sort of yeah I, but i almost well, think okay. that i don't really i don't I, I don't really fault people for getting passionate about like even just sports like I understand that it's like ultimately pointless but I'm not really like I I don't really care not either way in any like creative way but I don't uh, I don't think, ev think not everything same, not like everything has right? yeah like not everything same. has to have like some inherent meaning behind it I feel almost like like in terms like okay you could say sport is like, I think it does especially if if you put then if what, what do we so do like entertainment energy in Okay, like yeah, so, I, I equate sports to like a film, right? It's like you don't gain anything from watching it. You at gain all, except so like much it. from it. You can there, there's so much uh, culturally and artistically inspiring about watching a, a good movie. A good movie, yeah, sure. But what about a crap movie that's <laughs> vapid? Well, well, yeah, that's why I would want to watch a pure crap movie. And uh, that's not to say that I don't like do. an action film or something because they yeah. can be. They can still be creatively made, and they can still have a lot of personality put into them. Like, and you, oh, yeah. yeah, you you are seeing a lot of genuine personality in things. It, it's sort of a weird interact. It's someone expressing their personality. I'm just not seeing that in, in sports, really. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's hard. To, I find that hard to agree with. I mean, they especially like Floyd Money Mayweather and Conor McGregor are big personalities, big characters. Yeah, and that, that's the only reason why anyone yeah, cares about them. It almost has nothing like, to do with their ability. Like, you know, yeah, like Conor McGregor is not the greatest fighter, but in by any stretch of the imagination, not even his in his division. But he gets all the opportunities because yeah, he's quite unquote charismatic. Yeah, but is it not in in like a caricature esque way? Oh, he's a complete fraud, phony and a fraud. Like that's I I yeah. Like, I so don't... see, that's why. But the thing is, is yeah. the people, the people, you know, believe in, and that's that's my point. Like I'm saying, I don't like the guy. That's that's my point. I, I don't yeah, like him at all because I see that he's a complete. It, that's what I mean. That's that's their fucking. But, but it's escapism, I suppose, and I, I I can totally see why it's so popular because people constantly want to distract themselves from the fucking horridness of their regular life, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, see, do we need to? Okay, do we need to overanalyze why people enjoy? A yeah, see, that's 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 match? where I agree. Like, that, I think that it's not that really everything. Necessary? Not everything is point, like. At this point, we're so far into it, you know, that I I, I thought I'd bring up the <laughs> sort of piece behind it. You know? 
<laughs> no, I think it's funny. I, th I agree. I think it's funny. Like, still... I'm not. I'm not going. I'll. I'll not. I'll not go out of my way if you don't like keep asking me for my reasons behind. It. <laughs> no, I, I enjoy. I enjoy your like total umbrage. The fact that you, you need like a, a, like a full like one page essay on why like someone can enjoy a boxing match. Like you know. With yeah, and it all comes down and... to like they have lead an unfulfilling life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your life is well, empty. Yeah, that, um, and and. <laughs> and that, but the, that is in in gr in the grand scheme. The same goes for like baseball and shit like that. You know, people just getting completely pissed drunk at a match and sort of uh, yelling at each other. Over <laughs> the same the goes for anyone watching the stream right now. Why are you doing this? Exactly, your life yeah. is unfilled. Well, and because we're we're bringing up points here that are actually you know that are, that are actually sort of you know. They're interacting with people with real personalities. We're not being phonies and we're not... You know, we really need to do just like a podcast, you know, like a proper podcast, you know. Something that like is archived oh, and uploaded. game over, you... Oh, no, you didn't. I think, I think people would like a podcast. We always talk about doing one, we never do one. I think one of these days we should actually I do feel it, like you know? people I... would have more in time like when there's I... a gameplay. Like, I feel... I feel like I'm I'm perhaps. I'm like the I, I I I could easily do like a radio show or podcast I think. Fuck. Like I'm not how saying that. How the fuck do you like... do this? I've forgotten how to do the glitch. Like I've just forgotten all these glitches. <clears throat> fuck it's sake. Saki. Uh... <laughs> Saki. <laughs> no, and uh, uh, and Saki I, I think there there is some by the way I think there is some room possibly and you know uh, it's not like I'm like gonna make a big point of it. I'm not gonna say like, oh, the sport should be banned or something like that. But like, yeah, yeah, and there is always some room for like just blanking out a bit. Even though, even in that respect, you can always sort of do something that's still sort of stimulating in in in, in some subtle way. But uh, no, it's it's only when when it sort of goes like out of hand where people like like go way into it and like hate people and like go on on reddit and like discuss why one team's better than another that's the whole that's definitely the whole i would never discuss my personal preferences of topics on reddit i would never oh, no, do that. they'll tell you about that they will yeah, tell you and, about. and, and no, obviously it is it. almost an instinctual thing to when you're watching a fight when you're watching a match to start to root for a certain team or something and it's like it's just the thing that people uh, that makes people feel like uh, yeah they're the either they're part of the group worth. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna give you a heads up. I'm gonna I'm gonna head off in about ten minutes or so and just. That's just fine. Yeah, I, I, I'm 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 we're no. you're actually quite close because we're we're almost finished the first world, so that's perfect. Time. Wait, no, I'm tired joining Atrium, and plus, I sleep in too late. I'll miss the left-leaning political talk show Insiders on the ABC. What time is that? On? There's about nine o'clock. Sleep in, uh, you dickhead. Jesus. I slept in today. I, I, well, actually, I didn't sleep, sleep in today. again. In Get rid of the rules. Yeah, again. This level, Dude, by the I'm, way, I'm is, running. I'm running like less than eight hours sleep a day these days. Jesus. <laughs> I, I'm the opposite. No, like, I just get so much sleep these days because I've been working from home for the past two weeks. So I've just been sleeping in every day. Like, going to bed like early and just sleeping in. It's been good. Uh, that's what it is, yeah, so. this. This level is uh, completely racist because it's saying, you know, Asians and, and markets, you yeah. know, that, you know, that commerce and everything. 100% accurate, that one. I was just well, saying that in my, we were, uh, Rob and I were talking about that in my uh, most recent part of my Riddick Let's Play. Uh, You're doing a Riddick, Riddick Let's Play? Chronicles of Oh uh, Yeah, I started <laughs> that once with you. Hey, hey, hold on, I said that, Conley, that's my, oh yes, I do remember you started that with me, yes, I do. Um... What would someone was saying something? Damn it! Oh yeah, only difference between podcast and this is that the interaction goes away. That's not true. We can we can do a podcast slash radio show type stream. Why? But... Yeah, so I, I suppose the gameplay is missing. But I see if I was to do a podcast, we'd make it much more like yeah, I suppose structured. You know. Well, I feel like, like you should do that with you can do that with streams as well. I feel like I, I definitely think that over the course of doing more streams, I think we'll sort of find a way where you know we, we sort of see what works and what doesn't work, and it it'll sort of talking about SJWs that works. <laughs> oh, I see. It seemed it started a conversation, didn't it? True. Well, I. Yeah, well, in that respect, we can, for instance, sort of see where, you know, what works for how long. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, I think we probably ran its course a little bit, but... Uh, At know. least I think... not in a way where I'm like, okay, this time, now we've got to talk about this, now we've got to talk about that, but more like where you can sort of, you know, like Opie, from Opie and Anthony, you can sort of go like, hold on, hold on, we got the next topic, you can segue. Yeah. Veterans. I think the gameplay is good too, because it's just mindless and vapidness that people can like sort of like tune out to what we're talking. Yeah, like I'm not doing anything of substance here, guys. I don't know why you're still watching the stream. Fuck, I, I <laughs> well, can't fucking actually, do this. You aren't, really. You're just trying I to, like, I've Google. forgotten how to do the glitch. Oh. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, you know what the problem with these, these streams are? I'm like a shell of my former gamer self when I used to be, like, really, like, expert at all this, like, hacks and, like, because, like, you know, speedrun tournaments made me get, you like, really good at all this shit. So you beat me in a Monsters, Inc. speedrun in the best of three series. That's right. Legendary. <laughs> That was a good series. I like that. That it was, was a really good series. Damn good. It should have been a best of one, but uh, it ended up being a best of two, three. Anyway. Ah, uh, come on. That 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 Lilo and Stitch speedrun was legendary. It was. It was one of the best of all time. I, I think, say I that in a losing effort. You know. You yeah. know it's good if the loser can say it was. It was good. What is the best speedrun of all time in the community? That's got probably one of the best one. The, I mean, it probably all the Lilo and Stitch speedruns are pretty epic. Like, remember the one against you against Muddy? Muddy was good. Yeah, yeah. that was that was. Damn. In fact, I had a really good speedrun against Muddy in, in Spyro One, race to any percent of the game. Yeah, you and Muddy, Muddy's rivalry is quite. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, we, we had up to, from we had Russia. Some Hello, fan four eg. I don't know. Johnny has very strong opinions about Russia. Should he be here? <laughs> I'm I'm quarter. I'm, am I quarter Russian or an eighth? I don't remember. I Speaking think... of which, Johnny, your family history. How's how's your little baby brother? How's yeah. it going? I wouldn't know. He's what? he's fucking half Russian though. He must be more than. How does that work? My dad <laughs> is like a quarter Russian. I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah. My dad's a quarter Russian, and and his girlfriend is full Russian. So, jeez. Mm. So that's He's, that's that that kid's fucking gonna be more Russian than than Vladimir Putin. Putin. It's weak. So is his five eighths <laughs> Russian? Is that is my maths correct on that one? I don't is know. Who, is who Russian? Sinus Apple Soft. Five five eight. Anyway, tell me, you know you got a little brother that you you know you. I remember you telling oh, me you liked that little kid. <laughs> yeah, he's that, a, that little tyke, he's a, he's a, didn't you say? He's a cute yeah. little tyke. Yes, he's a sweet. Oh, have <laughs> but, you watched but, the Harry Potter parts, uh, uh, Andrew? Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> But but is because uh, like, I didn't okay. say it while you were in the call. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I remember, I remember. I've, I've watched this part. Uh, see, I have half siblings who are like who are. I, I always young. thought you lied when you said you watched my last oh. play parts. Johnny, <laughs> I've, I've got half siblings who are way, way, way younger than me, but I get on with them fine, and I don't consider them half I, siblings. Then I. Whatever, fuck you. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't consider oh, them. Oh no, we've half got. To got some we've got some unprovoked ruboid are you an sjw in the chat that's why i was thinking that's funny oh See, you I an sjw really, i don't really need to point out that they're my half sibling you know like i consider them that had nothing to do with what ruboid yeah. said either <laughs> sorry angus no i'm talking i'm talking to you so i think you should branch out to this kid save him you know teach him teach him the way save him no uh, yeah. fuck that I've, i'm so fucking busy with my own life i'm literally Literally the 4th of September, I've got to go to, like, a rehabilitation clinic to sort of try to sort now, my Now, physical... you know what, guys? Guys, I'm just going to oh, say no. this. I'm going to be very abrupt and say that is the perfect cliffhanger, right? Say no more about this rehabilitation clinic, okay? Because we will be doing another stream soon because we this is this is the right time to end it. Um, it's been, like, three hours or so, maybe even mm. more. And, uh, yeah, we just finished the first board. So I thought I wanted, like, book... I always, like, want to try and bookend it on, like, a... Um, a le like a, a certain section of the level so in the next part we'll probably end up doing um yeah we'll probably end up doing another third of the game and then yeah like we'll have everyone back and yeah that that's a good one okay. that's a good cliffhanger to leave it at actually mm, sounds good sounds very good and and uh and thank you for letting me uh spout my uh you know, bullshit bullshit over all over your let's play uh stream whatever <laughs> Okay, thanks, thanks everyone for, I, for, I, for listening. I splashed it all over your let's play, just like and I uh, and let's let's hope. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, Johnny. Let's hope. Let's hope time? everyone. Uh, yeah, well, we did some in Japan too. But, uh, <laughs> what are we doing in Japan? We just some in Japan too. What are we doing in Japan? Oh, well, lots of everyone. stuff that we'll we'll have to discuss next time in the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel I feel I feel like I should just pimp it out and be like, if I can get this much in donations. I will tell you the story of my 21st. 
You know, like that's, a good, be, that, that story must never be told, or if it does get told, we'll have to uh, have be worth a if, we get a, if we get a certain amount of likes, yeah, uh, yeah, twenty-two. We'll, if you guys are in the then chat, we'll spend the right entire now, next right now, stream to right now, we, we have we have thirty-one viewers, but twenty-two likes. So let's let's try and get that to thirty. That would be good. So if you haven't liked the video yet, lads and ladettes, I, I, I just it. want to point out that dinosaur bites is saying or grob was is saying i hope yeah. you bring angus and johnny back too so glad to say i, I, I swear i didn't see bite. dinosaur bites in the chat at all so i think this is, is this his first comment no, I, I was gonna say no he, come, no, he, come he, he said Fuck. one thing okay good you know that's he the said, thing good a lot to of... hear the podcast is still on the cards ah, okay okay well yes um we will be back soon don't worry don't worry we'll be back very soon um and we'll be doing uh, what else? We got. I oh, still want to. I still got to do Spyro one. I got a plat to the point before I got swatted. So, um, camming. Yeah, yeah, camming. I yeah. I always forget that I'm on video. Like I just forget. I I literally don't because I don't look at the stream at all. So, um, mm. I actually see. thought Tom this the data spiller was calling Johnny and I meet at brains for a second there. It turns out the rest of it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Oh, oh, you thought he was. I okay. thought he was saying that. The first, then I read the rest of his comment. I'm like, oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough. That's perfect. Let's, Good on you, Tom. Let's call that. Good on you, Tom. Let's call that. All right. See you later, guys. Enjoy. Catch you on the other side. Goodbye and good night. Pleasure for me. Pleasure. Pleasure. Uh.